All right, uh, y'all want to check it? It said connected to chat, so we should be good. And uh, Gabar, put your book bag down. My book bag? Yeah, put or no, Kordash, just put his book bag on the ground. Yeah, we are. All right, Khan. All right, y'all got it. All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites coming out to the highways and byways, you know, to prophesy the downfall of Babylon. All right, before we, before, before we begin, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kodash. Yahweh, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world calls God. Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world calls Jesus Christ. All right, and, uh, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and shalom on to the one third. Men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. All right, so we coming out here another week through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the prophesied downfall. All right, you know, um, so we're going to get right into this lesson. And Lord willing, it's edifying. I'm just going to bring it out. Uh, this is Matthew 3, verse 2. I'll start off at 1. It says, In those days, John the Baptist uh, preaching. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Okay, and all the signs, all the prophecies are coming to pass, man. All the things that the Lord has told us was going to happen are happening right now. Everything that the prophecies, everything that the prophets have written in the scriptures, they're happening right now, man. You know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. And only the elect, only those who, who trust in the Lord know that we're at this time, that we're at the time, okay? Because two-thirds of our people, they have no idea what time that they're living in, okay? They're, they want to go and march, okay? All hell is breaking loose. But our people, they're ignorantly going out there and marching, man. They're not, they're not, they, they're not, they're, they, don't, they don't have the knowledge of what's going on. They don't know that judgment is, is coming upon this place. They don't know that this place is falling down, man, okay? This kingdom is collapsing. All right, even their own people, even Esau, the Edomites that are in rulership currently, you know, even they know, the elite of their people, they know that this kingdom is falling. They know that economic collapse is getting ready to happen. Okay, they know that a, a, a social unrest is going to be at its all time high. Okay, they know all these things are coming. That's why a lot of their elites are preparing themselves. A lot of the low level Edomites, they're, they're just, you know, they're going right along with, 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 with the ignorant of Jacob. All right, but this is all, this is all confusion. You know, we had a we had a, a person here earlier, you know, and they want to know what's going on and what's you know why are we here? But this is all confusion, man. That's what's going on. Okay, a lot of people are riding and they really don't know why they're riding for. They just want to ride because it's in their spirit to do so. You know, our people they just want to reason. You know how in, in the world our people just want to reason to party. You know, that's the same thing that's going on. They want to reason to write. Okay, they want to reason to to just ruin to, to ruin some shit. Okay, but that's just the time and that's the spirit that the Most High put on them, man. You know, because the Most High said these things are going to come to pass, man, and they're coming to pass. And uh, you mentioned uh, about, um, you know, Esau, he knows he has, he has but a short time. Caught. You know, that's why, you know, they, they put up, you know, like uh, bricks, you know, in the riots, you know, they, 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 they trying to escalate this thing, you know, so they can reinforce that, that martial law. Uh, this is Romans. Chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. See, it's right, it's right now is our time to awake out of sleep. All right, we see everything that's going on through the four corners of the earth. All right, Matthew's um, 24 chapter lets you know um, the signs of the end time. All right, you got pestilence in diverse places. All right, up wars of the people, famine. All right, and we are in the midst of, of, of the second coming of the Messiah. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. All right, the Lord says he's gonna come back as a thief in the night. All right, and if you pay attention to the signs, you'll be you, you should be able to know that that um that that the second Lord, I mean the Lord's um second coming is is not. Read that last part. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See, our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right, you know um you know the RFID chip, you know they they getting ready to implement that. Martial law, all right. Martial law is is, is um, you know it's already in the streets, all right. You got um, you know, uh, up wars of the people, all right. Uh, 
California, you got um, Louisville, Kentucky, you got um, Minnesota. Uh, all right, you know, as soon, soon it's gonna be uh, across the all uh, um, across the fifty states. It's just it's a whole lot of confusion. Just a whole lot of confusion, man. And that's all this. That's how we see it. Those of us who are in this truth, there's a lot of confusion, but we know what's going on. But they don't know what's going on. Everybody's just, you know, doing what they want at this point. Robbing and stealing. Okay, for what reason are you robbing and stealing for when there's going to be an economic collapse? What's the point of going, breaking into these jewelry stores when when you when when, when um, you're not going to be able to use gold or silver to deliver yourself from that from this time from the judgment that's coming? You know, what's the point of acting like a donkey? Okay, you should be trying to get closer. Our people should be trying to uh, get themselves together, man, for the coming of our Lord, man. Okay, they should be getting themselves together for the judgment of that's getting ready to come upon our people, because the Lord is saying that He's going to start with His house first. Okay, He's going to start with His house first. So the Most High is going to uh, make sure that He's going to make an example of our people first. Okay, and when the Lord returns, the other nations are going to receive their judgment. He make an example right now with right that now. George, George Floyd. No, nah, they ain't received it yet, bro. That not yet. That that's that's judgment. Oh, you mean for for Jacob? Yeah. No, oh, yeah, Khan. Jacob getting that judgment already. With George Floyd. Khan. You no, know, it's, it's only it's only going to get worse. All right, and um, you know, the two thirds of our people, all right, they're going to realize that that the words of Yahweh Bashemal Shah are faithful and true. All right, this is why we call Esau the so-called white man. Khan. All right, and these other nations. All right, these other nations are not here for you. All right, they're here to um, to keep you further destroyed. Right. He saw the devil. Huh? He saw the devil. Uh, he saw the devil. Uh, this is uh, Romans, same chapter 13 and 13. Uh, well, let me just read verse 12. It says, the night, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. All right, because we got to be prepared for the coming of, of Yahweh Shah. All right, in verse 13 it says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. All right, so these people, they're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh because the Lord said, read again, it says, not in rioting and drunkenness, man. All right, as in, as in the coming of the Lord, you know, we're, we're not, uh, you know, the Lord, he didn't, he didn't tell us to be out here rioting, you know, uh, looting, you know, doing all this stuff that, that, uh, that these two thirds are doing, man. All right, the Lord, he, he wants us, you know, to uh, to wait upon him. All right, because vengeance is of the Lord. Come on. So we got to stay in the spirit of the Lord. All right, let me just read 14. It says, put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. All right, you got to put on uh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and that's walking in the, in the spirit, man. Right. Right. Put on the whole, the whole, um, the whole armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're too and, and, late. And the scripture says, and we have to come in the spirit of the Lord. What the scripture says, uh, 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 be wise as a serpent, yet harmless as a dove, man. The Lord came as a sheep, man. He came as a lamb, man. Okay, he didn't come as a lion, but he's going to return as a lion. Okay, but the Lord gave us the blueprint of how to get out of this place, man. Okay, all we have to do is take, take his lead. You know, we just have to follow the Lord. The Lord, the Lord wasn't violent. Okay, the Lord didn't didn't go setting up fires and, and causing riots. Okay, the only people, the only reason why people were getting out of control of, are, are by the things, by the words that He was saying. Okay, even though the words that He was saying were peace, you know, were peaceable things and mercy and judgment, but yet the people they weren't in line with the with the, with the Most High. Okay, they weren't in line. They weren't in line with the truth of the Scriptures. They wanted to keep the uh, the Roman Empire going at that time. This is why they were rioting and, and, and becoming uh, 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 all riotous around Yahu the words of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Then that was that was the two-thirds of our people at that time. And those two-thirds are back here again. Okay? They're rioting because they want to keep Babylon alive. This is what they want. They want, they want this so-called equality. You know? They want everything to go back to normal. They, they actually believe that they're going to fight for the respect of the other nations. These other nations are not gonna respect you people, man. Right, they crying out to Esau, you know, but you're supposed to be crying out to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Come, you, you, know? you, you expect Esau to do all this work, you know, uh, 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 spill all this blood, force your ass into slavery all these years, build up everything for him to say, okay, we equal? No, it's not gonna work like that, man. That's not how you, that's not how any sport is, uh, uh, that's not how you uh, uh, operate in any sport. 
okay? We're not sacrificing our body. We're not working hard just to become equal. We're working hard to, to win the game. You know, we're not, we're not going to both get to uh, 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 100 and be like, okay, we're going to shake hands and we're going to walk away from it. That's not, that's not how, that's not how, that's, that's not how I'm going to feel. And then that's not, that's not how the next brother going to feel. You know, 100, 100, we both going to look at the scoreboard. We got like five seconds left. Somebody's going to want to win. Ain't nobody going to OT. We ain't trying to go to OT. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to go to no OT, bro. Every time you go to OT, your players get, they get salty about it, man. So, but there ain't no OT. The Lord already declared the end from the beginning, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and 24. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. It says now sloppy wrong wall. Sloppy. Okay. Oh. Well, go ahead. Guess what? Oh, I, 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 I got it. I got it. That was a long chapter. First Corinthians 9 and 24 says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Okay, well, run, so, so it's saying run that ye may obtain, man. But when we're, we're running, but we're not running for, uh, uh, you know, like it's not a physical race. It's a spiritual race. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a we're actually, we're, 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 we're running for peace. You know, because the things that we're saying, they are, they, they're peaceable things. You know, we're, we're, we're running that we may uh, 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 finish this race when you have a shot returns, man. And okay. see, that, that goes into what you were just talking about, um, about nobody wins to tie at 100. You know what I mean? We're we're running so that we can win your house shy, man. All right, and that, this this race, and it says the race is not to the swift. Right. You know, so we're running so that we can win, win that prize. You know, right. and nobody, we ain't playing. Ain't nobody playing no basketball game, no football game, just to be like, just shake hands right. and be like, it's a tie. Nah, man, we want to know, we want to win, man. Right. That's what we're doing is, you know, win, 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 win. We're not doing this so that we can lose, man. Right. Everybody else is playing a losers game. But you he's got all even doing that on left hand side. You know, he's 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 trying to. Uh, you know, he's trying to get that first place uh, prize as well. Right. You know, that's why when Howard Shaw come back, you know, he's going to try to fight him. You know, he's right. going to try to fight. You know, he's going to try to fight and claw into the end. But see, the thing is that that's why this is all confusion. This is why it's all backwards. How come they want us to be so peaceable and stuff like that, but they're willing to kill each other for the kingdom of heaven? They're willing to kill, they're willing to kill each other to rule this whole earth, but they want us to be all super humble, bow down, just be cool with the scraps that we're given. This is what they want us to be like, okay? But nobody, but that's not that's, that's not the reality of things because we're a whole nation in the backyard of a, of a whole other nation, other nation of people, you know? We have our own spirit. We want to be on top too, naturally, but there's a way to do it. And the Lord is showing us how to get it done, okay? We're going to receive the kingdom of heaven anyways, but the Lord is showing you how to receive it. You know, and I, and I mentioned to it in the video on Saturday, if you're not ready to receive the kingdom, you're going to be destroyed by it. People think when the kingdom of heaven is coming, they think it's just going to be all glorious and all flowers and candy. No, the kingdom of, the kingdom of heaven is going to be all about judgment. Okay? And if you're not in line with the Lord, you're going to receive your judgment. Okay? And if, you receive, and if our people refuse to come back and serve the Lord, they're going to receive their judgment. But yet the Most High is going to have mercy on Jacob. Okay, the Most High is gonna have mercy on Jacob by uh, the rest of our the rest of our people that die on this side. They're gonna be reborn, okay, by through the seed of the elect, okay, and they're gonna receive their blessing too because this is a promise, man. Okay, but all of this, all this, all this going on is confusion, man. These people have no idea what's going on, okay. So we're yeah we are running this race, man, but this is a different kind of race. It's a spiritual race, okay. We're racing to get ourselves together. We're racing to get the, get the and, to, and to gather the elect and to feed the elect and to make sure that they're ready when the Lord returns, man. That's the race that we're we're, we're racing, okay? 
We're not, we're not out here, you know, with arms, okay? We're equipped, but we're equipped with the word of the most high, okay? And it seems to be more, it's more powerful than any weapon that you can build. The truth is more powerful than any weapon, okay? Because it hurts. When we, say the mo when, when we say the most high and his son are so-called black men, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts these people because we've been at the bottom for so long. You know, they can't imagine the, uh, a God being a so-called black man. Or the Lord, the, who the world calls Jesus Christ, being a so-called black man. That hurts, man. That's why every time we say that we're the people of the Most High, they shun that. They hate it. Okay, but it's the truth. This is what, this is what the elite of, of the so-called, uh, of the Edomites are trying to prevent from coming out. The truth of the Bible. A lot of our people, they, 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 they become discouraged reading the Bible because, the way that, because of the way they've been taught to read the Bible. Okay? They've been taught to read the Bible as if it's some kind of fairy tale. This is a history book, okay, and a book of prophecy telling you what's going to happen to the, his, the Lord's people. What, what, what condition they're going to be like in the time of the end. Okay? That's, this is why prophecy, prophecy is important. This is why our enemies have uh, 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 set leaders amongst us to, 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 to lead us in the wrong path. Okay? And these so-called churches, they never go into the prophecies, man. Okay? But when the Lord calls you and you repent and you return unto him, you're going to receive the understanding of the prophecies. You're going to understand the nations. Who are they in the scriptures? Okay? So you can't understand prophecy. So you know who you are and what, 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 what you need to do to repent. But two-thirds of our people, they don't want to repent. They want to join hand-in-hand -hand with the enemy, man. They want to join hand-in-hand -hand with the other nations, man. Thinking that the other nations got the answers. The answers is with you, okay? The Lord said the kingdom of heaven is within you, not the other nations, okay? The elect of our people, the kingdom of heaven dwells with you, man. The kingdom of the most high is with you, man. You got precepts? This is 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Okay, you want to break it down? Come. So, so the Lord is putting, the, he, the Lord is putting his words into our mouth. All right, and, and, and Amos, the third chapter, tell you that the Lord, he reveals his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Uh, Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy, in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. See, the words of Yahweh Bashem Shah are faithful and true. All right, and um, the prophecies are coming, are, are coming to pass. All right, and, and, and these people are going to realize, you know, sooner rather than later that, that, that the men on the corner have to have the truth. All right, we, we, the men that's out on the highways and byways, um, we, we, we've been telling you people the truth. All right, started with Apostle Tahar on down. All right, Apostle Tahar has been out on highways and byways for over 30 years. All right, you know? It says, verse 3, fear not the imaginations against thee. All right, so don't fear. I mean, don't... Uh, you know, just because these people don't believe, all right, that don't mean that that that, that the prophecy is not going to come true. All right, don't let these unbelievers, all right, take you out of the truth. And uh, it says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. You know, and uh, we need it. You know, like the brother said, you know, the words of prophecy, you know, that's important to our people, you know, because that, that goes back to the basics, man. You know, how were we brought here to America, man? You know, that was prophecy, man. The Lord, the Lord said through Moses that if we don't, if we don't keep the commandments of the Lord, you know, He's gonna uh, bring us into Egypt again with ships, man. All right, and Egypt is, is, is house of bondage, man. All right, and, and, and through prophecy, you know, Genesis forty nine, we know who we are. You know, we know that we're not Haitians, that we're not uh, Jamaicans, that we're not blacks, man. We're not African Americans, man. All right, we know who we are through prophecy, man. All right, you know that's why the Lord said. Speak down, my people, the words of prophecy, man. Uh, this is First John two, verse twenty, but it's and it says, "But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things." You know, we have an unction from the whole. We have an unction, man, from the Holy One, man, and we we know all things, man. You know, uh, we have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge, man. Okay, but the Most High wants His people to receive these words, to hear these words, because we have an unction for the words, man. Okay, we have a zeal for the Most High. Okay, it's because we're the only ones that can hear these words and understand it. Okay, it's either you we're gonna do it or we're not gonna do it. 
But the Lord knows his elect are going to return unto him. His elect are going to hear the words and do them and return unto him. Okay? Because a lot of these people that walk by, they're just hearers of the word. They hear the word, but they don't do the word. You know, they come by, they give us the amen. They, they like, oh yeah, right on. You know, but they're not following the Lord. They're not keeping the will of the Lord. They're not doing what they're commanded to do. God bless y'all for us. Hey, call all you ate the water, brother. The water you held by Shemiel Shah. That's what's up. I give it to Q. I give it to you. Go ahead, go ahead get your scripture. I got the, uh, the word unction uh, in the Greek. It says uh, charisma. All right, it says anything smeared on, un, ungenuine ointment, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and, uh, and aromatic herbs. Read that again. Uh, it says anything smeared on. Uh, it says U N G U E N T, ungent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ungent ointment, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs. Right, so it says usually prepared by the Hebrews because it says you have an unction. What what are oils supposed to do? All right, oil is supposed to smell good. Oil is supposed to heal things. All right, oil is used for anointing. Okay, so it says you have an unction from the Holy One. All right, so we got a, a way of anointing through Yahweh Hashem uh using this word to know because the word is the, also known as the oil. All right, so we use the words in order to anoint the people, in order to bring the elect back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And like the skin is it has an unction for the oil. It's it's porous. You know what I mean, so the oil automatically it goes right into the skin. If you put if you put oil on glass, it's not going to go through. You know, and the glass is like the other nations, man. They're not going to receive the words of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Okay, but our people, they're, they're supposed to receive these words. Okay, this is why they, when, they, when the elect hear these words, they're inclined to. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the two-thirds, they're just going to be wicked, man. They're just going to stay ashy, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't want this moisture, man. They don't want the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, they want to be they want to, uh, they want to be burnt up like chaff, man. Mm -hmm. You know, well, let them have it so, man. Hey, I do want to comment on the brother. This brother, this dude just get, came by and gave a, a tight, you know, and that, that's an arm, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I saw the brother at the Bank of America down here. He was listening, though. It's like he was taking his time doing it. And so, you know, things like that, where the Lord will have mercy on people. You know, we don't, we don't ask for no money, you know what I'm saying? But the, at the end of the day, the Lord put the spirit on that man to do that. And things like that, that, that could have been that man's cup of cold water, man. That could have been his, uh, his uh, the, the Lord having mercy on him through that. Come. You know what I mean? So yeah, go go ahead. Uh, what you had a scripture? Right? Yeah, yeah, come. Uh, Cause we was talking about that. Ointment. Hey, get that James. Too. This is Mark chapter water. one James verse 1, eight. I, think. I indeed have baptized you with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know we're supposed to be baptized. You know, with the with the word, man. Mm -hmm. you know, this word is like this is that anointing. You know, cause uh, you know John, he was he was baptizing people with the water. Hey, you know, but Yahweh Shai, he said, indeed, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, man. The, the understanding of the Holy Bible, man, because this is our book, man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, precept. Uh, this is James 1, verse 22, and it says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, mm -hmm. deceiving your own selves, man. Okay? You have to be a doer, man. Okay? You can't just be a hearer, because nobody likes a talker. Everybody likes the guy that walks the walk and not just talks the talk, okay? Because we we are to be an example. The Lord is, a, is an example for us, a way for us to walk, okay? And we are an example for our brothers to, to, to walk as well, okay? Because we, we can show you that it's possible to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, okay? And be able to exist in this in, in this, in this uh, kingdom, okay? So, but you have to be here, you have to be doers of the word and not hearers only, man. Not just uh, yes men and amen and then just walking around here saying, all right, brother, nah, man. Correct. All right, you have to open up the book and you have to read, man. Okay? Like the books of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, those are those are like your big OGs, man. Hey, y'all Israelites. Y'all got a question? Y'all Israelites. Okay, that's fine. First, uh, uh, James 1. What do you say? ain't got a big that's fine. You know, if they know that their judgment is coming, then that's, that's, cool. <laughs> that's fine. The, the dude with the hat on is the wicked one. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was but pulling you, them away. Yeah. But you know what? Hey, man, uh, uh, you know, two thirds of our people, they know their judgment is coming. They just don't care. You know what I mean? They have a way out. The most high is, he's reaching, he's uh, reaching out his hand for them, but they're not, they're not coming to him, man. Yeah, and see, that's why he said what's understood don't got to explain, uh, be explained, but you don't understand. Right. <laughs> you know, hey, give me Revelation 1 and 3 real quick. 
see, this is the thing. People out here, they say uh, what's understood. And that, that's a common phrase I hear a lot of people say. All right. But the, the problem with that statement is you don't. You don't. But that's where your wisdom falls short. All right. Where you think you would know it all already. All right. Go ahead. Read that. Right. This is Revelation chapter one, verse three. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he that readeth and they and they that hear the words of this prophecy. You see that? Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. So that word readeth don't just mean opening a book and reading it. That word means understanding. Right. Okay. So you have to start reading to understand. All right, that dude didn't understand nothing because he still had dreads, still smoking black and miles, still sagging his pants. He didn't understand, man. All right, but he, he didn't he didn't want to hear the words of the prophecy. Right. All right. That's why the scripture says none of the wicked shall understand, man. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's, that's right, right brother. These, these wicked, and they love they love that they love that mud, man. They love that mire, man. Mm -hmm. You know that that's why you know uh, the scripture says uh, uh, cast not our pearls amongst the swine. Yep. Even though there are people, but still they in their mind in their mind and their spirit they're the swine. Yep. Okay, because they hear the word and they reject it, man. They want to be covered in the filth of Babylon, man. They want to be covered in the filth of confusion, man. Okay, and, and one of the confusing things that we that uh, that we that we hear of, we hear about the new world order. Okay, but the Lord has His world order. Everybody want to be down with the new world order that Esau has to uh, offer. Okay, but nobody wants to be down with the new world with the world order that the Most High is getting ready to bring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because everybody doesn't want the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to rule. Okay? Because they know once we get on top and we're at one with our power, that's it. Okay? We're never gonna, we're never gonna fall off. Okay? Our kingdom will be an everlasting king, the kingdom. And it will be the best kingdom in the world, and all the nations already know that. Mm -hmm. that is uh, going back to where the brothers. I'll tell one of them to get it. 15 and 8. This is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 8. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips. You no know, people say, God bless you. You know, um, you know, um, you know, people say, I believe in God. All right, you know, they, they, they go to church every Sunday. All right, but, but it says that the last part, it says, but their heart is far from me. Their minds is far from, from the Lord. You know, they, um, you know, they, they, they follow after they, they own, their own flesh. No, they, they don't follow Yahweh Bashem Al Shai in truth and sincerity. Come on. Mm -hmm. And uh, verse 9 it says, But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. All right, but it says, But in vain they worship me. All right, you know, so you, you go into Jake's house, all right, they got a, um, a, a Jesus uh, picture up there, they got crosses, you know, but they they, they worship in Yahweh Bashem Al Shai in vain. All right, they, they, they have a zeal. The, um, they have a zeal for the Most High, but it's not according to knowledge. Quick precept, you done with that? Uh, this is uh, Revel uh, Romans 10, verse 2. Now, I start at 1, and it says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might, that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. They have a zeal of, of, uh, of the Most High. They have a zeal to serve the Lord, but it's just not according to knowledge. All right, and, and the Lord has um, created them that way. You know, um, you know, you go into Issachar House. All right, they got Jesus everywhere. They got uh, uh, Marie, uh, Mary, Mary, Saint Mary. You know, but they, 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 um, little do they know that they worship in um, Yahweh Shai in vain. And it says verse three, and it says for they, being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. See, so they, 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 people go around trying to establish their own righteousness. Come. All right, you know, like on Thanksgiving, you know, they these Christians really think that they're doing something good. Right. You know, um, they, they, they pass out turkeys for Thanksgiving. They really think that they're doing something good. They, where, where is that in the Bible? Right. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these people that are, that are in these churches, they're worshiping these religions, and the pastor is not backing it up and establishing foundation through the scriptures. They're just saying, oh, uh, we're just thankful for all this. Where, where's, where is this celebration in the scriptures? Okay? This is how you know this place is completely adverse of the ways of the Most High. People thank the Lord three times of, of the year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and uh, Easter. And Easter. And Easter. And a birthday. No, right. Probably not one of them. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. What was it? 
They don't think the most high on their birthday. They thank themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody say uh, thank you for uh, giving me this day. You know, they say it's my day. They, as soon as they wake up in the morning, it's my birthday. Oh, man, they'll feel so messed up if, if nobody say happy birthday on their birthday. <laughs> they'll feel like, oh, you really not my friend. You really not my family if you don't do something for me on my birthday. They really get messed up about it. Okay, but even in the scriptures, the Lord didn't celebrate his birthday. You know what I'm saying? The Lord wasn't salty about that. You know what I'm saying? So we got to put on the spirit of the Lord, man. If the Lord wasn't salty about people worshiping his, his birthday, he well, he, he don't worship him, his, himself. The Lord worship the Father, man. Mm -hmm. And he's the ancient of days. There is no birthday for the Lord. So the Lord patterns himself after the Father, and we are to pattern ourselves after the, after the Lord. Mm. Every, day is the Lord's Every day is the Lord's birthday. Uh, anything, anything, if anything, on your birthday, you should be praising. You, that should be a day, a whole day to praise the Lord, that he gave oh. you a whole year. Um, he gave that that that, that you made it a, a whole year. Come on. I ain't gonna lie. I am thankful to you know for every Passover that come. I'm thankful to you know I'm in the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for that. Hella thankful for that. You know. You know, y'all was y'all just made me think of something. Uh, you know. At the end of the day, the Lord can celebrate every day if he wanted to, man. Uh, he, he going to. All right? He going to. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord and Yah Yahweh himself can celebrate every day. Come you know? And the thing is, about your birthday, people think, oh, like, they, I, this new thing going around, oh, this chapter 25 of my life. You know, that's how they like to say it. it's like a book, a chapter. Like, it, it's basically a refreshing, a new a new beginning for them when their birthday has come. All right? But uh, this brother got a precept. You, you know? Book. You know, right. I don't want to see that the book. Wickedness. And, and, and weave. And weave. <laughs> <laughs> you know? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outer man perish, mm -hmm. yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Do you see that? The inward man is renewed day by day. So you're supposed to become, we're supposed to shed off more and more of this world every day, man. So, you know, every day we're, we're rejoicing in Yahweh Shemi Yahweh all right, so it ain't supposed to be. Oh yeah, this one day out of year, I'm renewed. I can start a start a fresh, start a new. All right, you're supposed to be changing yourself on a daily basis to get closer to the Lord. Right, because every day, you know, you know, the scriptures is everlasting water. So every day we're learning. Mm -hmm. You know, every day we, we we see a new verse. You know, we get hyped up in the spirit. All right, we we are uh, we become new every day, man. Mm -hmm. You know, every day we learn something new. All right, and, 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 and the knowledge of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. Right. Can you read that scripture one more time, Bible Shah? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. That's right. Uh, it's, it, the, the inward man faint, the outward man uh, perish. All right, that outward man is done away with because well, it ain't about how you look. It ain't about uh, you know what I'm saying. The thing is, it, it's it, you know, it's it, this is talking about um, uh, you know, a lot of the brothers that are, you know perish and things like that. But in wisdom, wisdom of Solomon, it talks about though uh about the outward man. All right, and the outward appearance about the outward man perishing. You know what I'm saying? It says though in, in the sight of the unwise, we, we seem to die. <laughs> You know, is in, in the sight of the unwise, we seem to die. So they, they, you know, brothers who have uh, who go down to the to, to the grave, so to speak. All right, they think that they're gone away when they're not going to receive the kingdom, but they're going to be the first ones on the chariots. But even now, as they see us on the street, they think we're we're seeming to be dying. All right, you know, I was talking to the brother Bar earlier, and you know, we was talking about how uh, how, how Jake in the world. You know, they try to uh, attain a certain level of rich and, riches and happiness, all right? But at the end of the day, they're not growing, all right? They're not uh, elevating to the next level. That's what we're doing through the spirit, Lord willing. They stand on that same level. Mm -hmm. I, forgot I, what that, it, I forgot what that precept was where it says, uh, You got it. Let's you not your sins. Yeah. Where you got it. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I was talking. Yeah, I got it. You got it. <laughs> right for yourself. Oh. I insist. You know, because this, this is good. <laughs> But with, uh, to adding on to that precept that you brought out Welcome before that, that's that's a very important precept, Whoa, especially that, that, especially for our people, man. Two thirds <laughs> of our people, you know, oh, we have to we, we have to be renewed day by day, you know, in order to renew yourself day by day, this has to happen. Go ahead. Up. Uh, uh, this is Second Ezra chapter sixteen uh, and verse. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna start at verse seventy-five. It says, "Be not afraid." 
neither doubt. For God, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is your God. Mm -hmm. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Huh. Okay, and that, that, that goes with that precept of uh, 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 renewed day by day. Okay, because a lot of our people, they get trapped in their mind. They, get, they, they start condemning themselves in their mind and in their spirit. Stop doing that. Right. Okay, then you're you're making you're, what you're saying is that uh, 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 the Lord's sacrifice is of no worth to you. Okay, because if you believe in the Lord, then you'll say, you'll say to yourself, okay, the Lord died for me. That means I have a purpose. Okay, that means He loves me. He values me. Okay, why would I why would I let these thoughts uh, uh, torture me and bring me down? You know, I had to explain that to a brother last night. I said, you know, don't let your sins weigh you down, man. Forget about your iniquities, man. Okay, that's that's us. When you do that, that's you going into the temple and making that sacrifice because you know the Lord died for your sins. Okay, so and once you do that and you uh, and you and you and you take on that spirit and you 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 put on the spirit of the Lord and you and you and you and you study the scriptures, you constantly examine yourself and you walk in the way of the Lord, man. You're gonna be a you're gonna, your your spirit is gonna be uplifted. Okay, you're gonna be a new person. You know, but you can't let the old man. Start, start bothering you. We know the old man is, is pretty much going to always be there. We know that. And we learn from the old man. But we don't go back and we put the spirit of the old man back on. You know, we leave him where he's at. You know? They say kill the old man. Kill the old man. <laughs> you know, you got to kill him. Come. Because if you don't kill him, he'll keep bothering you. Come. You know? And that's why the scriptures say confess your faults one to another. Come. You know what I mean? Because, you know, brothers that, that have tribulations and go through things, you gotta kill off that old man because if you just uh, that's, that's me if you uh, if you just put him in your back pocket or you put him in a closet you can just go pick him up you know you gotta do away with them man you gotta do away with them but it's a lot but, but, and that's one of the hardest um, fights in this truth is you know um, you know fighting against that old man all right because that old man is steady trying to creep up all right the thing that you used to do in this world all right um, brothers used to have sex with other men's wives all right brothers used to um, used to smoke all right used to smoke weed. All right, but you know that that's that, that's your biggest enemy in this truth is yourself. Come. This is Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-two. But ye, Salapia, Ephesians four and twenty-two, four and twenty-two, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deep, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be ye. So like it, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Come. So, so you got to put off that old man. All right. You got to put off the, that man. That I mean, that man that you was in the world. All right. And start yeah. and start uh, putting on that new man. All right. But every day, every day, you know, it's going to be a battle. Some days it's going to be um, it's going to be harder than others. Come. All right. But you, um, the scriptures say, if you resist resist the devil, he shall flee. That's so right. you know, if you if you resist if you resist that. Um, you know that demon that's in your mind. All right, rebuke him in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, eventually that demon's going to flee. And it's a scripture that. It's a lot. Uh, but real quick, it's a scripture that says, you know that, you know that the temptations that we face, you know, it's the same thing that everybody else has to face. You know, you know it's not, it's nothing new, man. All right, so the Lord, he, He's going to give us battles that that we can. That we can't conquer through His name. God, this, all these things that we're going through is, is, is to uh, uh, mold you and shape you into the man that the Most High wants you to be, man. You know, He wants us to be kings, man. And how else? You can't be a king if you don't have rule over your own spirit. You have to have rule over your own spirit, man. And then once you can master that, you can teach others according to the scriptures, man. Okay. And um, I was uh, talking to the brother Yeshai uh, on our way to uh, to camp that. Um, you know, I, I was speaking to a friend in the world last night, and and we had a, you know, he was just he was uh, explaining to me how we have to be on different levels. You know, he said being on different levels is like from A to Z. You know, brother, we was in A years ago. Da 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 da. We have to be on a much higher level. I said, well, no. I said we have to master A first before we can go on to the next level. Okay, we haven't mastered A first. We haven't mastered the foundation yet first. But our people, they don't want to establish the foundation. They just want to continue and just and master other things, and they don't have no foundation. Okay? What does the scripture says about those who don't have no foundation? When the wind came, when the flood came, okay, their houses crumbled. 
Okay? So all of our people, they want all these different things, but we have to establish on A first. Okay? Because not focusing on A got us here to where we at right now. Okay? We have to get ourselves together. We have to get our spirit together. Okay? We have to get this brotherhood together. Okay? Because anything we do after that is going to be a, a, a bonus. And every the Most High is going to a, a bless us with these things, man, with other things. He's going to bless us with B on down to Z. And it's not even a Z. Okay? Because we're going to have an everlasting kingdom. But we have to master ourselves first, man. We have to humble ourselves. We have to return unto the Lord as little children, man. But a lot of our people, they have pride. Go ahead. Yeah, well, uh, but um, I was telling um, Abba at, at work, you know, it's all about like evolving, you know, like like Pokemon. Pokemon don't stay at the same level. All right, Pokemon, you know, it keeps evolving, and that and every time that that Pokemon evolves, that uh, that Pokemon gets stronger and stronger. Nah, but the Lord said, "Give not unto change." The Lord already made us perfect from the very beginning. We went off, okay. So the, His intentions for us from the very beginning was perfect. We left our first estate. We left our first estate. You know what I mean? So it's not it's not about adding on to what we uh, to, to to the wickedness that's already there. We have to remove the wickedness. We have to remove the evil. Okay, and go back to the foundation. And once our foundation is strong, everything else is nothing. Seek ye first the kingdom of the most high, and everything else shall be given to you, man. Add it on to you, Salakia. Mm -hmm. uh, I got Romans. Uh, Romans 12. I'll just start at the top. Uh, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is which is your reasonable service. Uh, so read that again, Slaki. Uh, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. All right, we making... And that's what we doing. All right, we making our bodies a living sacrifice. All right, you know, we literally can be out here and the police can roll up at any time, all right, and lock us up. All right, you know, um, you know, um, we make our videos um, at, at, by the way to YouTube. All right, we we putting our, our, we are putting our face out there. All right, we are, we making our bodies a living sacrifice. All right, and, and it says, you know, reasonable and acceptable. Uh, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service and that's that's the least that we can do is come out to the highways and byways follow the law statute of commandments make videos be brotherly that's the least we can do all right it's just like uh, a kid all right when, when you when you fuck up and, and, and you trying to make it up to your parents all right we, we trying to make up to Yahweh by shot all right we trying to show that Yahweh by shot that we that we sincerely uh sincerely um um sorry Huh. All right, that 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 we actually see that um, you know, we actually see where we went off at. Huh. All right, and, and going back to that scripture that we read earlier in uh, in our uh, second Ezra, uh, uh, we're not afraid of the incredulity. You know, we're not we're we're going out here in the elements. All right, we're facing the people. People seeing us. You know, we might uh, people might run across us that we know, but but at the end of the day, we're not ashamed of the gospel, man. Huh. You know, that's why a lot of people don't. Don't want to come out to the highways and byways, you know, they because they may be ashamed, man. Mm -hmm. you no, know, but this is that sacrifice, man. You got to sacrifice, you know, all all your all your fleshly uh, uh, negative doubts, man. We gotta uh, and, and put it all to you. How about you, man? Uh, this is a uh, uh, Colossians three, verse nine. But I'm gonna start at eight, and it says, "But now you also put off all these anger." Wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. You know, we have to kill the old man, man. As we can see, two-thirds of our people, they haven't killed off the old man. Okay, this is why they're all about malice and wrath. Okay, and they don't even know why they mad. Okay, because those of us who are in this truth, those of us who who understand the scriptures, the scripture says, "Who perish being who perish at being innocent." Okay, so everybody want to be mad at this one guy, this one. He's, he is an Israelite man. Okay, and what was done to him was wrong, but that was the judgment of the Most High, man. And that scripture, uh, if you just quoted, it says, uh, "And where where have the righteous been uh, cut off?" Come, where has the righteous been cut off? The righteous hasn't been cut off. Okay, because if he was doing the will of the Lord, he wouldn't be cut off. 
okay, if he was out here doing the work, okay, speaking peace unto our people, then he wouldn't have perished, okay? He would have known not to steal, okay? He would have known not to defraud anybody. He would have known these things because these things are in the scriptures, okay? He's, he, he was in the world, and he received the judgment of the world, you know, and if it's, and if it's true, that, that's like, you know, that's pretty much the death of the uncircumcised, man. But the death of the uncircumcised is going to be a lot worse, a lot worse, man. In the two thirds, you know, they're not going to die honorable death. No, they're right? not. They, they're going to die, you know, humiliated. God, God, you know, his like glory was in shame. Uh, right. I believe that's the scripture. His glory was in shame. You know, it, 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 his uh, his his glory. You know, everybody knew about George from him being uh having a knee to his neck and dying. Right. That's, uh, shame that's it. Come out. That's all he remembered. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't running for nothing else. No, I'm saying his glory is a shame. Everybody know him as the man that, that died with all the same That's all right. Uh, Alright, so I stay in Romans. And, and I just want to say real quick, you know, they not granted, Esau is wicked, always trying to uh make it seem like yo, yo, things that you did in your life. Uh, matter because you innocently got murdered, so to speak, innocent by by the cops and stuff like that. But real talk, you know, his sins uh, was his accuser, man. You know, day, in right. that day. And see, the thing is, uh, when he went out, you know, that man wasn't innocent. You know, but they started pulling up all the dirt or the stuff he used to do. You know, he was a porn star. Right. You know, he had Illuminati tattoos. Right. You know, his his life might have been a sacrifice. Right. You know, be, that's why it's so big right now. The Lord, the Lord, turning this thing up, man. But, you know, like your brother said, your glory shall be your shame. So you, they thought everything was all good and dandy, but it's not, man. The Lord going to judge you from the things that you've done before. Okay? And that's the thing. They're trying to say, oh, well, what he did before don't matter. All right. He, it might not matter in your eyes, but it matters to the Heavenly Father. Yeah, I, was, you gotta, I was just going to say real quick. I was watching uh, Apostle Ricardo's video. You know, he was saying the same He was saying the same thing. You know, you never know uh, why the Lord took him out. He could have been a scoffer. You know, he, could, he could have scoffed at one of the brothers, you know. So, so just like you were saying, you know, the righteous grab the uh, the righteous perish, right? You know what I mean, because if you're doing the will of the Lord, then out of you would know these things, man. You know, like uh, two thirds of my people, they don't understand judgment, man. They're out there, they're naked, man. They think they they think what they're doing is the right thing to do, but what they're actually doing is the wrong thing to do. The Lord never said said do things like that. Okay, but, the, but what's gonna happen to them when they get injured out there? When they get shot? What's the, what's the first, who the first they gonna call on during that time? They say, oh God, oh God, oh my God. Well, yeah, that is God, that's your judgment, man. Because if you was doing the will of the Most High, you wouldn't be out there, man. You would use proper judgment, man. You wouldn't be out there. The scripture says in Exodus, uh, what is it, uh, 23? If I'm not mistaken, 23? I, well, you got to uh, yeah, uh, you got it. <laughs> you can't just say it, bro. I need to know what you're talking about. I need yeah, some context. Says, uh, following out a multitude to do oh, okay, con, con. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, yeah you know, I think you're right. Following the multitude to do evil. <laughs> they're not using proper judgment, man, because they weren't they weren't taught to use judgment. Mm -hmm. They were just taught to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and but the Most High is judging them anyways. Mm -hmm. But if they do, if they do the will of the Most High, they wouldn't go out there. Go ahead. I'm bring that out real quick. Go ahead. Uh, Exodus 23 and two. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Come. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. judgment. To rest judgment. And that's exactly what they're doing. They rest in judgment. But they, they're out there. They don't even know what judgment is. Because their leaders in these so-called churches have told them that the law has been done away with. So they don't understand proper judgment. Okay? They don't understand the way, the way of the Lord. They don't understand that the Lord was teaching repentance, man. Okay? And laying down his life. Right? What do you think happened after the Lord? Did the Lord tell the disciples to riot? Did the Lord did the Lord tell the apostles to riot? He didn't. So that spirit, where did that spirit come from? That's not the spirit of the Lord. You pull it Go ahead, pull it out. Got it off. Got it off. Uh, this is Proverbs uh, chapter twenty-seven. Verse come a little, 12. come a little closer to me. This is Proverbs chapter twenty-seven, verse twelve. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. The simple pass right, on in our Hold on, hold on. Sample, uh, read again. Nice and slow, folks. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. All right, that word prudent goes back to wise. All right, so a wise man Wait. will foreseeth will, will evil. Go ahead. All right. 
mercy of the evil and hideth himself. But the simple passed on and are punished. Right, you know, so that, that George Floyd, you know, he was simple. You know, he, he, he passed on to the spiritual world, all right, not knowing the, not knowing the truth, not having not having the truth uh, according to Yahweh Bashan al You know, he, he went to the uh, spiritual war, world calling himself a, a, a nigga or, or black. You know, he, he he didn't go to the spiritual world knowing um, knowing the truth of Yahweh Bashan al He's going to be presented in front of the Lord and, in shame. And I just thought about it. You know, at first I was like, man, how does this one cop holding this big ass dude down? But it made right. sense once it was other cops on. It was three. It was three of them yeah. holding him down. But see, that reminded me of the story of Joshua. When Joshua said to his men, he said, come put your foots upon the necks of these kings. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know uh, uh, Esau in rulership right now. You know what I'm saying? That They did basically what Joshua did. Come, hey, come put your, your knee upon this man's neck, man. We the rulers, man. And what that does is it blocks uh, blood from going to the brain. And what that does, it blocks oxygen from going into the body. He was through, man. Yeah, he was through. That's a bad way to go out, man. Who want to go out like that, man? You, you you buy a damn tire, you 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 fizzing at the mouth, you know, and you got somebody knee on your neck, man. <laughs> That's the way to go out, eh? Yeah, bro. Let me get my head chopped off. <laughs> real, bro. At least that's gonna be a little more, you know what I'm saying, memorable. It's honorable. Like, hey, it is honorable. You went out like a G. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah Edom might got his knee on your neck, man. Right, <laughs> go ahead, bro. He gonna be in the spiritual world. People gonna be dead. Hey, you got your knee. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you ain't even get a body slam off the troll, man. You ain't body slam on hit right. two you pieces. Get right. You get something, bro, before you take me out the game. Right. Oh, nah. He ain't squirming nothing. Nothing, man. <laughs> if you're going to be wicked, you'll fucking be wicked to the end. Yep. Go ahead, huh? This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, mm -hmm. that ye may be, that ye may prove what is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Woo. All right, you know, so these people out here perform to this world. All right, protesting, going up to, um, you know, protesting. You know, um, read that again, Slacky. Like Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, I'm, I, and our minds are being renewed daily. All right, you know, um, and the only way that your mind is going to be renewed, all right, is by the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right, because what this world teach you, you know, is, is false. All right, everything in this in this world is tainted. All right, the only thing that's pure is this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by Shemel uh, It grounds you. You know, and it says uh, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. You know, by us coming out of the ways of Babylon, you know, renewing our mind with these scriptures. All right, with the, that, that's making us aware of what is the correct will of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. All right, in verse three, all right, this is the point. Uh, it says, "For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith." You know, so we gotta be, uh, you know, we gotta be sober as in, uh, as in, you know, we gotta be sober to the fact that, you know, that, you know, ultimately we're not saved yet, man. All right, we can't think, we can't think too high of ourselves. All right, you know, a brother, a brother may say, man, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta heavy spirit on you, man. You know, we give all praise to y'all by shot, man. That's right. You know, we don't think of ourselves too high, high above the next brother. You know, of course, we think of ourselves to be. High, on a higher level than these two thirds in, in the heathens, mm -hmm. nope. and, and what makes it, and it's not that we're on a higher level because we know a lot of things. It's because we simplify things through the scriptures. You know, we that's why we that's why we have to remove and, and, and put away the ways of the world. Because when you have the ways of the world in your spirit, you your light can't shine. It dumbs right. down, so you can't be the person who the Most High created you to be. But when you remove the ways of the world, your light is able to shine. You know what I mean? So it's like they, they're giving you glory, you know, for, because they think, because what they say, you're, 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 basically the spirit precedes itself, you know, precedes you, like, you know, they, they, because the things that you're saying are simple, but in their mind, it's the highest of the highest. Right, right, but these right. things are simple. 
You know I mean, because we remove the ways of the world from our mind. We remove the ways, the teaching of our enemies from our mind, and we came back to the Lord. Now, now, if you if you if you believe that that you can if, if you believe in the scriptures, then you can receive the same things, man, and you could be at a higher level. Kind of. I'm not trying to talk about myself, but uh, I don't know. It's some wave going around at work. You know, people say, "Oh, you the man, cute." You know, uh, for the last few <laughs> days, they been saying that. I'm but, but, but I be like, "Nah, I just know the man." Uh, Ooh, we just right. we know the man. Kind of, you know, we know you how about you know, shot. You know, so we don't think of ourselves. Uh, as high, you know, high and mighty, you know, because that's not that's not the right spirit to come in. Come, because these are not our words. Yeah. Colossians three and one. If you then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above, come. which were where Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Come. Uh, verse two. Set your affections on things come. above, come. and not on things on the earth. Come. Yeah. You know, set your affections on the things above, man. And the Lord dwell, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashah dwells in the spirit world. So we need to set our affections upon spiritual things. Okay? This is how we're gonna establish spiritual power, at least on this side. You know, because this word gives you spiritual powers. When you interact with different people in the world, you get an understanding of their spirit. And, and based, that's based on your understanding of your own spirit, because you have an understanding of the Lord's spirit. Okay, when you when, when you understand the Lord's spirit, it allows you to identify other spirits. And it allows you to walk in darkness. Because you know, because because you know what's pure now. Right, you know what's pure. So some um, adverse of that right. come to you, you right. The, um, you can sense that. Right, you, you can sense you it, you can feel it. Right. Uh, let him get his real quick. Come a little closer, Bible John 8 and 23. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. Uh, we not we not of this world. All right, the world, you know, um, not just, you know, um, you know, of course, we humans, we got blood just like everybody else. But you know, the, the, um, our mind, our mind is not like this world. All right, this, uh, we don't we don't carry the tra the traditions of men. All right, these people they carry the traditions of men. All right, marching, um, 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 celebrating birthdays. All right, uh, uh, doing all these vain customs. All right, that, and that's why these people are of this world. All right, and we do the things. Uh, okay, how about you now? That's why the scripture says the, uh, the uh, weapons of uh, the weapons of uh, 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 Salaki. Of our warfare are not carnal. Are not carnal, but spiritual. Okay, because we're fighting a spiritual fight, not a carnal fight like two thirds of our people. You know, because we are, our, our, our fight is within ourselves, within our minds and our spirits. You know, we're we're fighting to 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 uh, uh, remain in the spirit of the Lord. While two thirds of our people, they want to fight to attain something that's gonna die and perish, but we're seeking life. Okay, um, I can bring out the piece up. Come, on. and this is uh, John eight, verse thirty-two, and it says, "And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." And this is what this. Is, and when people look at us and they see the spirit that we're in, is because we're free, because we know the truth. Okay, the Lord told told us. He tells us everything. He lets us know who we are. And while we're here, he lets us know who the other nations are and why they're in the position at the end. He lets us know the downfall of this place and what to look for. So we're, we're, we're free in our mind. Okay, so when it comes to losing things here, we're okay with it because we know what's coming. But two-thirds of our people, they don't know what's coming. And they don't know what's coming is for them. That's why they're afraid to lose the things that they have. In particular, their own spirit that they have on them. It's, it's, it's kind of like a test, you know, like like the Lord, he gave us all, he gave us the, um, you know, like your teacher, you got a big test coming up and she give you your, um, what's it called, like, the little practice thing, the, the, the practice test? Yeah. So about time, like the FCAT, you know, you, you get like the little, um, practice study, study guide. guide, right. We got the study guide, so when, 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 uh, when the test starts, all right, we be like, you know, we already know that, okay, like George Floyd, we know that he's wicked. Right. We know that, you know, that the, that the Lord um, judged him. Right. You know, so, you know, when these different, um, when these different things come along, all right, we already know because, because, because we, we read the scriptures. All right, we know what's coming. So when things come, we not, we not caught off guard like two thirds of our people. You know, two thirds of our people was caught off guard that the um, police, um, Put that, put um, George Floyd's knee to his neck. Did they surprised about that? 
You know, but but we expect that. We expect that because the scriptures tell you that the so-called white man is the devil. We, we want to put on, during this time now, we want to put on the spirit of the Lord, especially during the time when he was on the boat. You know what I'm saying? When he was on the boat with the disciples and the boat was rocking because of the sea. And he was just calm. And he, and he was asleep. He was chilling. Okay? And that's us in this time right now. Everybody's riding. Everybody's worried about some disease. Everybody's worried about all kind of the economic system. Okay, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Economic collapse. And what we doing, we chilling. Okay, because we're not worried about these things. We want to put on that spirit of, uh, of your house shop. Like on that boat, man. You know what I mean? We're going to walk through the midst of, we're going to walk through the midst of these people, man. Being calm and cool. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. This is why we have the spirit that we have. Uh, yeah, that's uh, speaking on what you was talking about earlier, uh, you know, uh, the things that they're fighting for, pretty much, you know, the two-thirds. Uh, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19, lay it out up for yourselves, treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor uh, rust. Uh, neither moth nor rust does corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Uh -huh. So that goes back to what the um, brother brought out, Colossians 3 and 2, setting your affections on things above, all right? Because America is finna be destroyed, all right? America is finna look like um, look like um, Minnesota, all right, throughout the all uh, 50 states, you know? So, you know, why why, why um, put your trust into this place, all right? The, the, um, the, the money system's crashing, all right, soon you're not gonna be able to put gas into your car, so why? Why put all your faith in, into your car? Why worship that car? You know, because this place is gonna be through. And, and I was mentioning earlier about the A to Z thing again, and how it's important to focus on A to Z. Because as I was having a conversation with the brother, he was like, yeah, man, we gotta, you know, when you send a lion out into the wild, you know, he has to go out there and do what he naturally does and go hunt. Well, that's not what we're supposed to teach our people right now, man. We're supposed to teach our people foundation, all right? Because when you teach your people foundation and you establish foundation, it, that's that's power, okay? And that's that's our treasures in heaven, you know, how to build up a brother, okay? Because during that time of Jacob's trouble when there's no money, okay, and there's no resources, and all we have is each other, the man who who, who understands the scriptures, who understands the spirit of the Lord, are gonna, is going to be able to navigate and to build people up during that time. Okay, with the group, with, with brothers. Okay? Okay, when your shop returns, then we go hunt. But when we go hunt, we're gonna be of one mind. And what's going we're gonna be like uh, uh, a lot of these basketball teams in the NBA. When they when the, when they have that one when they have that oneness and spirit and they and they and they, and they just in that mold and they go on that break, everybody works. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even matter because we so in sync and we so in tune. The, the, the point guard who's hitting the break could just lay the ball up. And he, he ain't even got to look at the guy who's coming to dunk that ball. He already know he's there. That's the oneness of mind that we're going to be in when your Howard Shaw returns, man. We're going to have, so we're not going to be that lonely lion out there that's just going to go out and just go hunt on his own. No, we need to establish this first. Once we establish this first, you ain't got to go out on, and, and hunt by yourself. The Lord said he's going to uh, gather up his hunters. Come. You know, in, in that time, man. Right? Come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could be a lion, you could be a mighty hunter, but if, if hunting is your focus, how you gonna be when you get around the other lions? How you gonna how you gonna conduct yourself around the other lions? What you gonna say to the other lions? Because we have the power through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemal Shai to build them up if they're willing to listen. So we can be of one, one mind. So when I'm moving around and I'm doing whatever, they know they understand why I'm doing these things. When they see I'm about to do something and it look like I'm about to do evil, they understand in their mind, he's not gonna do evil. We we one body. You know what I mean? But the world don't understand that. And two-thirds of our people they don't understand that. We have to get ourselves together first. And we have to come underneath your house by how shot. Then everything else we're gonna do. But you wanna be solo dolo, you're gonna get killed out there, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death. And destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled all right so this is why the, this is why the world is in a state that, that is in right now all right because 
It says, um, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. All right, so the Lord is, 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 is fed up with you people. All right, he's fed up with the wickedness of this earth. All right, and it says, um, so, so that's why the Lord is bringing the, those plagues, all right, famine, war, destruction. All right, this is why this is why the world is in the state that it's in right now. All right, and, and, and two thirds of my people, all right, they don't know that. They don't know why why is why is this place in, in, in the um, state that it's in right now. All right, and, and but this is Bible prophecy. All right, this is this these scriptures was written over two thousand years ago. All right, so this is Bible prophecy being fulfilled. And verse uh, verse seven it says, therefore, saith the Lord. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. So the Lord, you know, he, he ain't go. So the, the Lord say he, I will hold my tongue no more. All right. So the the, the Lord, the Lord is, is 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 fed up with this place. All right. So that's why judgment is going out at, at a rapid rate that it is right now. That's why earthquakes are, are happening at a rapid rate. Um, um, you got the coronavirus. All right. You know, it's, it's, it's all hell breaking loose in here, man. All right. And you even had one of the, uh, the greatest men in the world. You know, he was saying, you know, why are these police officers, you know, killing us, man? That was LeBron James. You, you see, uh, these people, they don't know the answers in these last days because they're, they're not in the scriptures. I got Brown. I got Brown. Uh, and let me, let me finish up on eight. Uh, it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, right. the innocent <laughs> and the righteous blood <laughs> cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. See, so that's so, so it says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood we cry continually. All right, that's the elect. All right, we crying and sighing to get out of this place. All right, Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right, and the Lord, all right, Lord willing, the, the Lord willing, all right, we have that. Uh, Mark of exemption, all right. But these, uh, these are the two thirds. You know, they, they not sign and crying, all right. They, 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 they crying out of Esau. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like you said, you know, they sign and crying to Esau. Why are you doing this? You know, but y'all, y'all, the 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 Lord set 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 up Esau to be the wicked. All right, He set him up to 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 slay. All right. Uh, verse nine. One half nine six. And verse nine. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. All right, the Lord is going to avenge um, the one third of the nation of Israel. All right. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. That's it. This is a, uh, you know what? Let me bring this out. Uh, this is a. Uh, This is uh, ah. Nahum, Nahum 3, verse 1. That's the spirit. That's exactly what I was going to tell you to get. <laughs> On life. On life, bro. That's the spirit. <laughs> you wild, bro. <laughs> That's me from earlier, too, so don't even think about it. Why do y'all about shooting that shot? Go ahead and rock it out. Rock yeah, it out. bro. Come on, come on. Hey. Nahum 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is, it is all full of lies. And robbery. Right. So first of all, I want to say all praise to you. How will Bob Shum Yahoo Shah Bob Shum Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect Shalom. Shalom. So, uh, read, read that again from y'all. Khan. Nahum 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. Right. The scriptures say, Woe unto the bloody city, man. America was established by blood. So we all seeing people, our people getting shot down in the streets, getting they neck snapped in the streets. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. All right, this is the bloody city founded. It. it was taken from thieves, by thieves, man. All right, it says it's full of lies and robbery, okay? Everything that they have do, done, they've stolen. And a part of that robbery is even lives. These people steal lives, man. They take lives away from you, okay? So it, it ain't no special surprise when you see our people getting uh, trodden down in the streets. Go ahead, Art. And it says, the prey departed not. Right, who's the prey right now, man? All right, Israel. We're the prey, man. We're not the predators. Give me uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. We're not the predators right now. Okay, we're the prey. And it says the prey departeth not. Okay, How? because the only way for us to depart, y'all crying for salvation, the only way for us to depart is through the Lord. 
The only way for us to part is through the scriptures. The only way for us to part is through the chariots. Okay, that's the only way we're gonna get out of this place, man. Okay. You had this uh, one. Was, the dude was like 40, 31 years old. He was telling a sixteen year old, you know, four years ago I was doing the same thing. You know, y'all need to do something different. You know, and, and that difference that he was speaking of, without him even knowing, you know, is this truth. All right, which is already being, which is which is already being brought out. Yep. You know, uh, started with Apostle Tahar. Yeah, I was just gonna say, um, cause he was the dude. He was like, he was talking to a 58 year old, I believe. He's like, you're 58, I'm 31 in this. He was a 16 year old, and you're 16. He said, you're angry, I'm angry, and he's angry. He said, what we doing didn't work. So he's like, there, there has to be something different. You all got to do something different. But what he doesn't understand is the different thing is going to be by the cleansing of America. And by cleansing, I mean thermonuclear destruction, man. Destroy. All right, that's what happen, has to happen for that change. All right, Yahweh Shai, who you England call Jesus Christ, has to be that change, man. Uh, go ahead, you still got, yeah, Khan, you got that? You know? Bloody city. Khan, verse two. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prance, the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. Okay, the horsemen lift up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. Mm -hmm. And there is a multitude of slain, okay, and a, and a great number of carcasses. See that, it, it, it's people, a lot of people are gonna be dead out here. What is that glittering spear? That glittering spear is the thermonuclear missiles. The glittering sword, man. All right, he says, and I shall wet my sword. Uh, next, give me Isaiah 34. Come. You know, he said, I shall wet my spear, man. And see, the thing is, right now, we're in the time of uh, Esau got his, his chariots. Esau got his armies. Esau got his tanks, okay? They got uh, Minneapolis. They had tanks rolling down the street. And they had uh, uh, Edomite cops t yelling at people, telling them to get back in their house, man. One lady got shot with, uh, they had like paint or rubber bullets. They shot her and told her to get back in the house. And they was like, I'm hit. I'm sorry I got hit. They told her, it hurt. They told her two times. And they, and they was all like, light him up. Light him up. Right, right. Light him up. And he was yelling too, get back in the damn house. All right, right. Light, all right. They, they gave, and that's how the Lord works. He give you a warning. All right. He give you another warning. And then on strike three, taking your ass out, man. All right. He gave them three warnings. He let them know that they, uh, uh, all right, take them out. Light them up. You know, and that's what's gonna happen to these people, man. They about to get lit up, man. Well, see, they don't understand the, the, the Lord is a, com a, a, a consumer fire, man. Okay, because they think that the Most High is just gonna pull back, man. Hey, man, what's the what's the what's the Most High? Uh, what they uh uh, uh, uh just the, the 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 phrase where it says uh, when he has to get up off of his throne, it's gonna it's gonna be all hell to pay, man. And this is what's happening, man. He's a consumer fire. Once the Most High starts judging this place, man, it ain't no stopping it, man. He gonna consume everything and everybody that's not of his of of, of your house shine spirit. Right, and that that uh you know it says hey yeah Yahweh don't get off his throne for nobody. <laughs> but the one you gotta worry about getting off his throne is Yahweh <laughs> shot. <laughs> hey, when Yahweh shot butt lift off of that seat, man, <laughs> y'all in for some danger, man. Per hey, per it says perilous times shall come, man. I ain't gonna lie. One of my managers, bro, at work years ago, she was on the phone. She was like, look, if this situation has to come to me. It's going to be a real humbling experience. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's, and right. that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a real humbling experience for the whole entire world. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Because the, the sins of this place has lifted up to the heavens, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Man. Okay. 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 And, and see, yeah, I was sure he's, he's sitting on that seat. And it's, it's, he, you know how you, um, when, you, when you're a track runner and then you like kneel down and then you're ready for them to shoot the gun? That's how his, his feet are while he's sitting on that seat. You know, he's sitting there waiting for you. How is that go? It is accomplished, my son. Hey, he gonna get off of that thing so fast. All right? And, and this is another reason why. Go ahead, y'all. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after, I will send for many hunters, yeah, and they shall hunt them. See that? He said, behold, I will send for many fishers. Because when you read uh, Matthew, all right, it talks about how the Lord, look, they got choppers out here and on everything. You know, but it, it, when you read Matthew, it talks about uh, drop, they, the disciples drop their nets straight away to become, he said, drop your nets and I will show you how to be fisher of men. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. We're out here fishing men, man. All right, you pee, Jay love to fish. 
Uh, All right, every, every bridge down here in Florida, you see Jake out there with his fishing. damn rod, man. Uh, out there fishing, trying to catch something. But we trying to we trying to catch the elect of the heavenly Father, man. We trying to we trying to <laughs> we trying to co collect the elect, man. Because by uh, bringing the elect back to the heavenly Father, that's when the Messiah is going to come and save us, man. But the Messiah is going to be to you all's destruction. Okay, it says I was sent for many fishers, and after read, read after fishers, and after. Will I send for many hunters? Right, and after I will send for many hunters. Hey, and when the Heavenly Father calls for his hunters, that's it. And that's it, man. When he make that call and say it's hunting season, okay? His hunting season ain't gonna be like it ain't gonna be a season. Okay? Going it's gonna on. be whenever whenever we want, Going man. On. Whenever we want, the, the, we're gonna be able to put our foot on the uh, the Edomites, man. Okay? Whenever we want, we're gonna be able to put our feet on the Edom, uh, on, uh, on the heathen, man. Come. Okay, he says, I will hunt for them, man. Go ahead. Uh, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Right, he says, and after I shall, they shall hunt them, man. Shall is a word that for a surety that it's going to happen, man. That's a promise by the Lord. And see, this, this main hunting, hey, yeah, how is Shire going to be grabbing them uh, elites up out of them holes, man? All in them bunkers. All right, you got something going on. Psalms 149 and verse seven, I'll start at verse seven. To execute vengeance upon the, he uh, upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints, praise ye the Lord. Right, and wh what do you do after you hunt something, man? When, when you, you get a boar, well, us, we don't hunt boar. <laughs> Let's say a, a, a deer, a venison. You know, when you get a deer, they bind up the legs, all right, so they can carry it. And then they what they do with they they they, uh, they skin it, they gut it open, and they show that on uh, Game of Thrones. The king on uh, Game of Thrones, they show him gutting the deer. He pulled out. What is the first thing he pulled out? He slid it down the middle. He pulled out the intestines. All right. And why is that? Because you're that's that's spiritual for your guts, man. You know what it is like. What did, what did it say? Your, your guts you, is how you feel when you uh, got a feeling in your belly. Gut feeling. All right. That's, you, a, that's your immune system is in your gut. Yep. That's your whole defense. Yeah, man. You yo you you know what I'm saying? That's why they call uh you know cowardice men yellow belly. Right. Okay. You pull out your your your, your strength, your pride, man. So even a, say let's say for an example a deer that got his intestines pulled out could eat. He ain't got no system to break down things that he's taking in, man. All right, so that's how the brothers mentioned uh, uh, fetters of, we're going to bind them with fetters of iron, man. We're going to do that to Edomites, man. You know how they say in the world, I spilled my guts out to them. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> that means you expose yourself totally. Yep. You let vulnerable. all your walls down. Yeah, you're vulnerable. Yep. Amos chapter 9 and verse 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. Right. So if, if if there's a Satan, right, and he's running hell, right, how is God reaching his hand down there and grabbing people? All right? That's how you don't understand these scriptures. All right? They're going that hell is symbolic with under the earth. Okay? They're gonna have these bunkers where they're gonna put them under the ground. All right, and they show that on uh uh it's this movie, sick ass movie I mentioned to y'all, uh called uh, 13 Cameras. You know, the dude had bunkers. He had little underground bunkers where he would take the girls and put them under the ground. All right? But he said, my hand shall take them, man. All right? So when they try to make these underground bunkers, all right, he said, I'm going to take them because Yahweh Shai is going to come and he's going to snatch them up out of there, man. Uh, read that again for me, Adawan. Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Mm -hmm. Though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. Hey, don't they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. Do that mean they about to get and see Yahweh's throne? No, man. All right, they're, 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 they they yesterday they so called uh, uh, lit up lit up a, a NASA space I mean a SpaceX spaceship. All right, thinking that they're reaching the heavens, man. The people ain't ain't no astronauts reaching out of space. Ain't no space force going out of space, man. All right, but they're about hey these people about to have all kinds of satellites and and bunkers, thinking they're creating something in the heavens, man. It's not gonna happen, man. The Lord said, "I shall take them, man." All right, He's going everything they uh, eat my mind, and that's the the throughness of an Edomite, man. You think that you can hide something from God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God sees everything, man. You think you can hide something from him. 
God. 17. Jeremiah 16 and 17. For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. You know, so the Lord, he knows all your thoughts. Everything that you uh, that, that these uh, elites, these Edomites are going to try to do. The Lord, the Lord is uh, a thousand steps ahead of these. You know, he, he knows where they're going to be. All right, he's going to... He's going to pluck them up, you know, by, by, the, by the hands of his men. Somebody give me that, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. I got one. Right, go Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord, do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. No, so, you know, basically, you know, the Lord is boasting. All right, uh, you, 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 um, scripture say the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. All right, so, you know, it don't matter where you go. All right, you can be, um, you know, you, you, you can go hide yourself in the dark cave. Right. All right, you can go under the ocean. Right. All right, you can, so you can call yourself going up to space. All right, the Lord is, he is his name is, he exists. Uh, all right, so you can't. As you're alive, the most high can see you. Right. right. And, 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 and feel you and, 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 and cause, cause you, 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 you have a power source. You know what I'm saying? You're full of electricity. Where did that electricity come from? You can go deep into the earth, but yet you're still alive. That means the most high still has connection with you. Right. So you through, man. That's why. That's why he saw. He tries to uh, gain access to know everywhere we go. Right. You know, with our iPhones, you know they, they can track your every every move. You know he saw. He tried to like move. Trying to be godlike, man. God. You know, want to see everything. Hey, it's gonna be Edomites to say, put my bunker as deep in the ocean as you can. That point right before the med, the pressure right, right. starts to pressure. <laughs> and that's what he gonna say, man. <laughs> you know, and the Lord gonna come down there and kick his shit two centimeters through, and he out of there, man. <laughs> you know that, but that's the mentality that Esau. He think he can hide, but you got that yeah, Second Chronicles. Back there too. Okay, come go ahead. I get the Second Chronicles. Come. Second Chronicles sixteen and nine. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show Himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward Him. That's right. The eyes of the Lord go to and fro. The angels see everything, man. Throughout the whole earth, you can't hide nothing from them, man. All right, these are angelic celestial beings, man. All right, you think walls are a problem for them? <laughs> <laughs> y'all think y'all damn drywall can stop an angel? Nope. <laughs> you know, hey, they, you, where you think they get, they, they have like Superman with x-ray vision? Where you think they get that from? Wow. All right, that's from the scriptures. Where they can see through them walls with ease, man. All right, they see through your walls like it's, like it's, like it's might as well be a window right there. Wow. All right, and they going to and fro throughout the whole earth, man. They see all you people on all your wicked deeds, man. All right? And you, real talk, we don't, they don't even need windows. You people are showing your wickedness want. openly. You. All right? You people out here, you, you, all, all, all of the dudes, all of the men, they homosexuals. They smoke cigarettes. All right? All the women are harlots showing their ass cheeks everywhere. You don't, we don't need, the Lord, the angels don't even got to like see through, man. You showing your wickedness yeah, openly. I know that's your <laughs> all right? Uh, you said you had something to back it up. Then Actually, let him get his first and then you can bring yours on. This is Sirach. Or Ecclesiastes chapter 23, verse 19. <laughs> Such a man only feared the eyes of men. Such a man only feared the eyes of men. All right? You got cats out here that, you know, they go, they go and do stuff uh, behind closed doors. They got stuff that do stuff behind closed doors. All right? They, they think that the eyes of men is what they got to worry about. They make the eyes you got to worry about. Because, hey, and that's how you know, we're not worried about the eyes of men. We come out here and let you people know that you devils to your face, man. Right. All right? But you people are worried about the eyes of men. And that's because we're not doing nothing wicked in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Go ahead. Such a man only feared the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. Oh, so I can read that again. Yeah, yeah, up that. <laughs> Such a man only fears the men, the only fear of the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Hey, and the sun bright as hell. We, 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 when we got down parking, we're like, oh, that sun beaming. Oh, you know, you know, it, it says the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times as bright as the sun, man. Not the other one. Okay, so the Lord the sees one. everything, man. The Heavenly Father sees everything, far all far the wickedness that's left. being done in this country, man. Okay? He's seeing through that with ease. Okay? You, and let's think about this. So you think the Heavenly Father gonna let you people 
create a material that's so dense that he can't see through it. <laughs> you know, they'll be like, you know, in our bunker we got, uh, uh, you know how when you go to banks and they be like, we got uh, the most fortified metal, platinum, titanium, to where nobody can break into or see through. Okay, that's what these people say. All right, but the Heavenly Father sees everything that's happening on the earth right now. Uh, 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 not even God could sink this ship. Right. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. <laughs> See? You know, loose lips, loose lips sink ships. Come. Uh. You know, you're talking too much, man. You think you're saying something. You people think that you're outside of the, you're, you're exiled from the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Like, you, you, you so special to where you're, you're, that the Heavenly Father's judgment can't touch you, man. You people are you the generation of the, the the thoughts in your mind that you're the untouchables. All right, you people think you're untouchables. The heavenly Father's about to touch you, man. All right, y'all think it was uh, something that happened to George Floyd? Who you think killed George Floyd, man? Most high. The heavenly Father's the one who killed George Floyd. Huh? Right. God's the one who wanted George Floyd to die. A few That's days right, ago, man. Okay, he, but he just made an Edomite do it. Okay, you had some. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 139 and verse 11. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both a light to thee. All right, so it don't matter. Uh, you know, the Lord just boasting again. All right, you know, it don't matter, you know, if it's nighttime. All right, you know, the Lord's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. All right, so you can't escape. You know, you can't escape, uh, you know, you, your iniquity. You can't escape iniquity. That's it. Hey, the Lord can, hey, the beauty of your how about Shemi Al-Shah, the Lord can put on a, a blind, 10 blindfolds and 20 <laughs> right. pairs of sunglasses. He's still going to know that you are homosexual. Uh -huh. All right? He's still going to know that you smoking weed. He's still going to know that you serving gods, serving idol gods, man. As a Lord, as a, as a upon this information, oh, that's simple it. kingdom. That's right. That's right, brother. But get yours that you had. I got two. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. It's the first one. Revelation 6, starting at verse 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him, that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Right, so they like, hey, your, your, your elites, your, your, all the people, you know, you people are low level. All the people with all the money, they, they know what's coming, man. Huh. They're preparing themselves right now as much as they can in their carnality. Right. All right? They, they, and they, they say, uh, the scriptures say, uh, fall on us, which means protect us. All right? They're going to say fall on us and protect, protect us against from who? From the Lamb. Slack it. From the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. From the face of him that sitteth on the on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. And it, hey, the, the Lamb is who the world is right. because Jesus. Uh, All right? He said, that, he said he coming with wrath. Yep. <laughs> so what are these people talking about, man? And they're going to say hide us from that, but they can't be hid. Uh, what's the next verse, huh? For the, for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand? That's right. The great, the great day of wrath is coming, man. The great day of the Lord is coming, man. That's why you're seeing people getting uh, killed in the streets. That's why you're seeing uproars of the people. That's why you're seeing earthquakes everywhere. That's why you're seeing people de come dead left and right. Because the Messiah is about to make his return to this earth, man. And you people are going to die if you don't repent, man. You Israelites. That's right. Okay. Uh, you said you had two. Yeah, this is backing up what you said. Huh? You can hit yours. The Lord can see through the walls. Huh. This is John chapter 20 and verse 19. Then the same day at evening being the first day of the week when the doors were shut where the disciples were assemb assembled for fear of the jews came yahusha and stood in the midst and said unto them peace be unto you that's right man hey it, it, it don't matter man you ain't no way you can stop the eyes of the lord ain't no way you can stop uh, uh and see the thing is y'all think the messiah is just a regular man <laughs> you know hey the scriptures say i shall not meet thee as a man all right, y'all think he's a regular man that can't see your wickedness. Because when you read Luke 12 and 2, it says everything in the darkness shall come to the light. All right, so everything that you've done, hey, and what what George Floyd death uh, proved, all his death proved was that his judgments were brought to light, man. Okay, his sentence was brought to light. That was his sentence by the Heavenly Father. Okay, all of you people are about to receive your sentence and your judgment by the Heavenly Father. You Israelites, if you don't repent, man. Okay? Go ahead, control. Uh, the 
you had the dude around me. What you goes that you get the second grade? Okay, get the get your first grade. Yeah. Come on. Come on. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. 39. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. Mm -hmm. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. There is none that can deliver out of my hand, man. So you can't be like, hey, I want this man to live. All right? The Lord said, the Heavenly Father said, I kill and I make alive, man. Okay? Read that first. Read the first part. Come. It says, see now that I, even I am he. There is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. Right, so he said there is no God with me, man. When you read these movies, when you watch these movies, you know, once again, Game of Thrones, they be on there like, the, they say the old gods and the new gods, all of this kind of stuff. He says there is no God with me, man. God. All right, it's only him. You think he worried about uh, some other little God that don't exist? All right, he, he not worried about that, man. I kill and I make a lie. He says I wound and I heal. So George Floyd didn't live because the Lord didn't heal him. All right? The Lord could have had George Floyd get up from that, but he didn't. His ass went to the hospital and he perished. All right? I got one. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. That's right. I, it says I make, I make peace. I create evil. Green. He formed the light, man. Green. Green. All right? All, all the things that happen on the face of the earth. <laughs> That brother's funny, man. All the things that happen on the face of the earth, man, the Heavenly Father's the one who does it. So that's why y'all going out here, y'all riding and y'all protesting. Y'all just doing y'all lots, man. Hey, do it. Yeah, Carry on, man, man, because if you people don't riot, we can't see the Messiah return. Right. All right? Because the Lord said there shall be uproars of the people. So we need to see y'all riot in order to get saved. So, hey, riot, do your thing, man. We just going to stay over here. We going to prophesy this word. We going to go home. We going to pray, and we going to wait on the Messiah, man. That's what we going to do, man. Wait on me to rise into the prey. All right? Con, uh, yeah, go ahead and get that Con, This is Amos 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not, be not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord hath not done it, okay? So all this evil that we're seeing, okay, is not because of who, who, who the world calls the, uh, the devil, okay? No, this is all the will of the Most High, okay? All this evil that's here today and that's to come, that's the will of the Most High, okay? Because the Most High is the originator of evil, okay? <laughs> he is the originator. You, you can't do no more evil than the Most High can do. OG. He's the OG, <laughs> all right? So people don't want to, people, so that's what they teach us in the so-called Christian in churches that, you know, oh, it's the, it's the devil, it's the devil. No, the Most High created the devil, okay? The Most High created the devil to do his job, okay? The Lord said that he create evil, and that's in the scriptures, but we're not taught that. You know, the Most High is not one-dimensional, okay? He's all things. There's nothing that you've thought of that you've thought of that the Most High hasn't thought of. And, and that's how you know uh, Satan is also a son of God Come because of, I mean that's also I mean that's also how you know there's free will Come because if there if there was uh, there's no free will, free will because right. if there was free will Satan probably would do something like that Come you'll try to rebel but that ain't in the scriptures Come that ain't in the scriptures and who put okay. you uh, who put that thought in your mind that's who right. you think that that's right the heavenly father he, he's the, he says in, in the pride of, he says in the night time he puts your, your thoughts in your head man what you gonna do the next day man Job 33 and 15. He put those thoughts in your head. You wouldn't even be thinking what you're thinking if it wasn't for the Heavenly Father. All right? You'll be out here like a vegetable, man. <laughs> All right? Uh, you had something first. Yeah, yeah. Read that. This is about idol gods, but I wanted to get it real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, verse 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Yep, they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods, man. All right? We serve the living power, man. All right? Them ain't gods what they got. Go ahead. Which neither have have the use of eyes to see, nor noses to draw breath. They, got, they ain't got the use of their eyes to see, nor the nose to draw breath. Yeah, you tell Buddha to get some oxygen, man. 
He gonna keep smiling at you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, breathe, Buddha. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> you know, he gonna be like you two thirds. Like I can't breathe. <laughs> Go ahead. Nor ears to hear. Nor ears to hear. Buddha can't hear none of your prayers. All right. He can't hear you. He's a statue. All right. <laughs> you know who? Who? Jesus. Chessie. J Jesus. All right. He's he's a figment of your imag imagination, man. All right. And even when he was a living man, that wasn't the Messiah. That was a pedophile demon, man. Okay. You know, uh, homosexual. You know, you think he concerned with the the words of the heavenly Father? No, man. Nor fingers of hands to handle. Nor fingers of hands to handle. <laughs> hey, yo, Buddha, can you hold this water from the player? <laughs> Buddha gonna be like, huh? Not even. <laughs> That's all he gonna do. He's just gonna smile at jazz, right, man. Right. <laughs> you know, is it more? <laughs> and as for their feet, they are slow to go. As for their feet, they are slow to go. Hey, yo, Buddha, come take a walk with me, player. Hey, I, I got you. <laughs> That's all he gonna do, bro. That's all he gonna do, man. You know, that these idol gods, they can't do anything for you, man. But we serve Yahweh Bashamir. We're gonna be able to walk with Yahweh Shah, man. Uh, Yahweh Shah can be like, hey, yo, come walk with me in this vineyard, brother. Uh, you know? We're gonna be able to walk with our Lord, man. Uh, hey, yo, brothers, come drink this wine with me, brothers. That's what we're waiting for, man, because we serve the true living power, man. That's right! Y'all gods ain't nothing, man. And that's why we esteem you people less than nothing, man. Come. Your gods are nothing. Come. All right? Verse 16. <laughs> for man made them, and he that borroweth his own spirit fashioned them. Yep, for man made them. All right? The, the Lord says... In the olden times, when you had brothers that would want to put, uh, uh, like when Israel was in the uh, desert, all right, when he was fighting, after he got done fighting the angel, and he put a pillar of uh, stones, and he put, anointed it with oil, and he would name certain places, man, all right, but it says, once you take a, a hammer or a mallet or a tool and hit it on those rocks, you're forming it into an idol god, man, okay, but the Lord says we don't deal with gods made with hands, man. All, the, all of the gods of the nations are idols. So who are you people praying to, man? If your gods don't got ears, who are you praying to? Okay? Uh, and the last part says, But no man <clears throat> can make a god like unto himself. But no man can make a god like unto himself, man. All right? So you that means, uh, you know, they, they got like, what's that movie? Uh, you know, oh, like Frankenstein. All right? They try to make Frankenstein come to life where he can breathe and he can walk. You can't make a God like unto yourself. That's why Esau, all right, what does he try to manipulate his God form and try to create robots, okay? But robots ain't breathing oxygen. So you can't create a God like yourself. You can't create a God to, to follow you and worship you, man. All right, he is the creator of all, man. He is the one who creates people to worship him, all right? Why, why would the Heavenly Father create other gods just so you, so you can fall down and worship him? His chosen people. He created the other gods so the other nations can worship them, man. Come on. All right? Come on. Uh, what did you have? Right. We, can, we can get back on topic. I know that. Oh, you had a little bit more? Uh, that was it. Okay. I got one. Yeah, we can get back on the spirit. Oh, uh, no. The Amos that you had? Okay, yeah. You can go back and get that. Okay. You read it. Okay. Okay, come Amos 3 and 6. Yeah, yeah. You can get that. What was you getting? Okay, get your name and uh, he's gonna get hang on. So let him get his name on first. Work whenever you Oh, I'm saying, I'm sorry, Salak, y'all. Salak, y'all. This is Nahum 3, but I'm going to start off at 3 again. And it says, The horseman lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpse. They stumble upon their corpse. Okay? The Lord, Isaiah 66 and 15, he says, The Lord is coming to slay many, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many. All right? It's going to be many carcasses out here, man. You people rioting over one man's death. All right? what, what was the rioting over our Lord's death, man? What was that, man? You people were rejoicing in it, man. Saying, crucify him, crucify him, man. Where was the, what was the rioting over that, man? The death that mattered. 
where we're riding through the spirit. Let you know that our, our Lord's death wasn't in vain, man. Okay, go ahead. Con. And it says, because of the multitude of their whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, mm -hmm. the mistress of witchcrafts. That's right. The, the mistress of witchcrafts, man. If you read Revelation, it talks about the uh, mystery Babylon, the whore that sitteth upon the dragon. Who's that whore, man? That's America. Con. America is the whore. And all of you people are following the whorish ways, man. Con. That's why women walking around having sex with six men at a time. Con. That's why all these women got jeans on. Con. All right? That's why you're acting like harlots everywhere you go, man, because you're following after the way of this whore. Con. That's why you got lesbians and homosexuals everywhere. Con. Go ahead. Con. And it says uh, that selling nations through her whoredoms. That's right. You selling nations through her whoredoms. Who's the nation that got sold through her whoredoms? Israel, man. We were sold to the nations, man. Through the, th the things that Edom, Edom like you so-called white people think you can do whatever you want, man. But I come to tell you who you ignorantly call God and who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ are so-called black men. All right? And they're coming to avenge us for all of the things that you've done to us. That's what the Bible says. That's right. Uh, Egypt all over again. That's it. Con. Egypt times two. Con. And it says the mistress of witchcraft, man. Witchcraft is everywhere here in this place, man. In America, witchcraft is everything on your television, in your signs, okay, and people's mannerisms. Music. Okay, they're, they're the way that they think, music. Witchcraft is everywhere, man. We're surrounded by witchcraft, man. We're, we're surrounded by enchantment, okay, the music. <laughs> Okay. Women wearing makeup. Women wearing makeup, lying to men, man, deceiving men. Okay. All of these things are witchcraft, man. Okay. It's getting real at the courthouse. <laughs> and it says uh, uh, that self nations through her whoredoms and families through her through her witchcrafts, mm -hmm. man. Okay, selling families through their witchcraft, man. All right, talking about that God loves everybody. That's witchcraft, man. That's not. That's blasphemy, man. Right. The Most High don't love everybody. Right. He didn't say that in the scriptures. He don't love everybody. That's right. Okay. He loves his people because those are the only people that he know, and those are the only people that know him. Okay. Are the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Okay. Right. You guys are the people of the of the Most High according to the Bible, and we can prove it. That's right. Okay, no, no other nation can prove that they're the people of the Most High according to the scriptures. Not even these so-called Jews. Okay, they can't prove according to the scripture that they're the people of the Most High. But we can, Mazel and we can stand on it. That's right. Mazel ah. You guys have no proof. That's right. We have all the proof in one book. That's you have nothing. We have everything. Go ahead. Hey, and, uh, first, see, first. I realized why old girl came over here. She thought we was going to cause problems for that yeah. store. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, but you know what happens every time we, we prophesy across the street from something? It shut down. <laughs> it shut down. <laughs> and on the Lord's about to <laughs> shut America down because in every major city, there are men telling you about the prophecies of the Bible and that America is about to be destroyed off the face of the earth, man. And just because, uh, go ahead and flee over to France. Go ahead. Jump on your jet plane and go to France. That, that just means you're going to be a slave in the kingdom of heaven. So you can't win no way. All right? It's the First Thessalonians 5 and verse 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. That's right. Prove all things, man. If you're going to say, you know, in that movie Uncut Gems, uh, uh, Adam Sandler's an Amalekite, a so-called Jew. And he, he says, are, are we not the chosen people? And, but then they cut it to a jake. After they said they cut the screen to a J, literally the next second, you know, because they know the chosen people of the Heavenly Father are, man. Who, who told you that these, these, uh, them, uh, gutter rats are the chosen people, man? They not, man. But they, they spew their madness and they just want the whole world to accept it and to believe in it. The reason why they do that is because they control everything. Hey, okay. hey his thing said kill the cops before they kill you. See, we ain't got to do that right now, man. All right, we ain't gotta do that. Period. We ain't gotta do that. Period. Hey, we we, we waiting to the Messiah. Jeremiah the Messiah 16 is a so-called black man. Who you call, who you ignorant call Jesus? We gotta got, got get our mind right instead of out here protesting and all that. Facts. That's facts. Right, you gotta come back to the Bible though. We try building something. What happened? 
Yeah. They destroyed it. Black Wall Street, we had our own economy. They blew it up. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, they destroyed another you know, I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all destroyed Black Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all been bombing our churches, uh, goddamn our homes forever. Mm-hmm. Not, because we bombed this shit. It's ours anyway. We, should be, we built it. We should be able to do what we want with it. But see, but see, that's facts. But see, we are our ancestors. Reincarnation is real. We are ancestors. But see, the thing is, the scriptures talk about the upwards of the people. All right? It, it talks, give me Matthew 24. It talks about how in the last days these things are to happen. So if these people don't riot, the Messiah can't come back. And we need him. That's the only way we're going to get saved out of this situation. We can't, we can't, everything. we've been protesting, we've been rioting, we didn't have Black Panthers, we didn't have Malcolm X, we didn't have Martin Luther King, we didn't have Marcus Garvey. Why ain't none of that worked? Ain't none of it worked is because the Messiah is the only cure, man. Right. Uh, uh, verse, uh, uh, nation shall rise against nation. Can somebody give me that upwards of the people? Y'all, y'all Israelites, right? Yeah, 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 you an Israelite too, man. I am. Yeah. Yeah. And my partner, he had me on that. I did 10 years in federal prison. Okay. Uh, we, we, we used to uh, Isaiah 42. write each other uh, kites. Okay. He became, he became an Israelite. Okay. So he put me on the gods and the king. He put me on all Yeah, that's real. You an Israelite, he, man. He, he, he real heavy on it. I know, I mm-hmm. know. But he like real deep into it. Hey, and, and see. You know the Lord's name? The Lord. What's God's name? Uh, the, the Creator. That's, That's a, title. a title. And we're not trying to come at you. We just ask you. I mean, yeah. I call him Creator. I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in Jesus Christ. I, okay. I was raised. I was raised a Baptist Christian. Right. Okay. But my, my my grandma, my my mom, they got a slave mentality, bro. I won't even talk to them about that. Bro. Right, I right, just, right. Because there's no like, <laughs> I understand, like, and I love them. Mm-hmm. So what I do is, every now and then I give them a little sin. Oh, there you go. And I'm like, all right, grandma. All right, mama. And see, we our grand, our grandmas and our moms they taught us that plantation Christianity, man. They teach us that they, 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 <laughs> the slavery. They teach us to love our enemies. They do you not. Know, but give me uh, uh, Sirach twelve and ten. Hurry up, somebody. Uh, the, the scriptures tell us uh, a, a difference of the, the Messiah didn't believe that. All right, the Messiah didn't believe that. The Messiah believed that we should uh, crush our enemies, man. All right, uh, read Sirach or Ecclesiastes twelve and ten. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. The Bible says never trust thy enemy. Somebody give me Luke 19 and 27. The scriptures say never trust thine enemy, man. So we ain't supposed to trust them. You know, we ain't supposed to trust them, man. They, because they, they, they in the Bible, the transatlantic slave trade is in the Bible. It says we will be sold unto our enemies. It doesn't say we will be sold unto our friends. Do you believe in this here? No, you got it. Yeah, you got no Africans yeah. coming over here. We ain't you know, Africans, brother. No, no, what I'm saying is, okay. what I'm saying is, you have... The Africans that navigated fucking Christopher Columbus. He was lost. He's, a, he, he's ignorant. He didn't know what the fuck he was. No, he didn't know nothing. He thought he was in fucking... Uh, Second uh, Ezra 13 and 40. In, in, yeah, uh, India yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But you in the new world, bro. And then you, you feel me? Like, we've been here. Now, you ever heard that saying like, oh, I got Indian in me. And we used to laugh like everybody, every black person said they got... No, right. 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 That, because that's us. The, the tribes of Gad and Reuben, those are the so-called Native Americans. Those are the children of the Heavenly Father. So-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the children of God. That's why we're so good at everything, but yet we're still on the bottom. We broke the curses of the Heavenly Father. Who got that second address 13? Nope, that's all. Second, go ahead, go ahead. Somebody, somebody read it. Uh, this second address, chapter 13 and verse 40. Mm-hmm. There are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners. Right, the ten tribes, which is speaking about the northern kingdom. So, uh, Simeon all the way down to Issachar. Go ahead. Uh, t- uh, carried away ten, Asaki. Uh, carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. Mm-hmm. Whom Salmanasser, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. Mm-hmm. And so came they into another land. They so came into another land, go ahead. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen mm-hmm. and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. That's right, that's America. That's why you see uh, the, when, when Christopher Columbus and all of them came over here and they killed the Native Americans, they were already over here. They were here. This is in the Bible, man. Go ahead, brother. Yep. Verse 42, that... Th- that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. That's why they came over here, because they wanted to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And that's that's why they went to a new land, because they were slaves in the Assyrian captivity. So they needed to come to a new land where we could serve the Heavenly Father. That's why they called this place the New World. Yep, yep, the New World, because the New World was founded by the Israelites. Yep. That's why, you see, all these brothers got fringes with blue on. When you look at old Native American pictures, they all have fringes on and turquoise, and they'll be out there saying, Yo, how 
Oh, 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 oh. They were saying the name of the Lord. They were giving sacrifices and praises to God. They were here first. This is our land. That's why they, they try to sit up and tell us. But our history, the Bible ain't for everybody, man. Sure. All right, show, show them that picture. See, that's a Native American guard. They had the, they had it because they knew that we're the, the, when you read uh, numbers, it says that we wore those fringes and ribbon of blue in order to remember the commandments of the Heavenly Father. We became slaves because we did. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We became slaves because we disobeyed him. That's why we were slaves. That's why George Floyd got killed in the streets. That's why we went to prison. You still give me Isaiah 42. Uh, that's why we're in the situation we're in And that's why nobody understands what's going on The Heavenly Father put us here Because it's basically like if you got a bad kid What do you do in your chin? If you love your child and he do something wrong What are you supposed to do? You whoop his ass man You put a belt to him So the Lord says we are the only people that knows the judgments of the Heavenly Father That's why we still believe in God Though we have been through worse situations as everybody on the earth uh, What you got? Okay yeah 2815 Read that real quick I still believe in the Bible, but I, I believe it's watered down. Okay. I believe that a, a, lot of, a lot of what's in the Bible is a lot of lost books, a lot of manipulation, a lot of with slave mentality with slaves, and we, we teaching y'all, okay, obey your master. Like, you telling us to obey y'all. You whooping like, why the fuck without a baby, bro? Right. And this new generation is telling, like, they're getting two birds, like, fuck you, like, they, people starting to wake up. Yeah. You know about the scripture where it says, obey, obey your masters. masters in the flesh? It's, exactly. Right. And, but the young generation, bro, is starting to wake up. And they're not going for it. And I feel like a lot of this shit that's going on is cause for we, we need that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, a lot of people saying, oh, they're going... Listen, man, people are angry, bro. Yep, that's facts. Right. Angry. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 says, Oppression maketh the wise man mad. Uh, so we uh, pissed off, man. Everything is in, is in the Bible. It's bro. in the Bible. Like, yeah. See, the thing is, the Bible, it ain't, it ain't, there is no, uh, there is no, there is no hypocrisy in the Bible. There is no, people think that the Bible says one thing, it says another thing. The Lord is not an author of confusion. There is, it, it, but how we was taught. Right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Understanding of the Bible is watered down. How we, with the slave man tell it, with our ancestors, hey, we was right. taught. Psalms 15 and 16. You feel me? They, they, they switched it around. Like everything in the Bible is real, but they switched it around to like catch our minds. Manipulate. Like, they they, they did that on purpose. Exactly. They did it on purpose exactly. because if, you, if these are the children of God and you think, let me separate these people and tell them that their book is actually against them, yeah. they, they don't tell you that God's a so called black man. When that's in the Bible. When it's you know what I'm saying? Right. right. It's coming up. It's hey, that's why the scriptures say in the last days knowledge shall be increased. All right? Because we now coming and we finally realizing that we're God's children. All right? Here's my thing. When I found out, I got older enough, I was like in high school and I found out that you lied to me about Christopher Columbus about this country. Everything that you tell me is for the shit. I don't want nothing else. I'm gonna do my own research. Right, facts. You feel me? Yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own research and I'm gonna find out the truth, bro. So Hey, people starting to wake up, bro. You starting to wake up, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's long overdue. Mm -hmm. It's long overdue, bro. Hey. I gotta get up out of here. All right, hey, I'm gonna tell you Imagine this. We're going to the protest. Right, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna do a peaceful right. protest. Right. Right. Yeah. Let's support my some people that want me to come. That's it. And then I'm hauling there. All right, feel you. Know, we don't, we don't take it. we don't take no parts in the protest. This is our. This is our. We supposed to have a spiritual protest. Yeah. All right, because the thing is, those people, you see what's been happening with all these protests around the world. You know, people getting shot with rubber bullets. Lady got shot in the damn head. You know, all this kind of stuff is happening. So, hey, you know, do, do your thing. You know, it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to go on I'm gonna my people. I, I respect. I understand. You know, my but people. the thing is, you got to repent and come back to this Bible, man. Because yeah. when the Messiah comes, all the talking is going to be done. Yeah. It ain't going to be no. Uh, today, you heard. Yeah, you said you knew you were an Israelite before. Today, hey, uh, now this is your second admonition. All right, this is the second time that you're here now that you're an Israelite. And if you don't repent, man, the Lord will destroy you. And we hey, we want our people to be redeemed. We want the elect to be redeemed. You know, you know why I sleep good? Because the powers that be that's running the world right now, I know that when Messiah come, it's around. I mean, no matter like, how much money you got, right. how right. much of right. a power hole you have in the world. <laughs> yes. When that dude come, all it's, all got, it's a wrap. It's so a wrap. I'm like, fuck y'all, I'm going to continue to do what I do. Yep. Hey, read that Bible, repent, though. Come yeah. back to the Lord, man. That's the only way out of here, man. I'm telling you. Hey, y'all boy, continue. All right, you too. All right, you too. All right, for sure. All right, for sure. Continue, speak that knowledge. Let people know this is what's going on. Y'all keep it up. All right, man. All take right, care, man. All, all right. Matthew chapter 7 and 21. Mm -hmm. Now everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Yep. Say, you got to do the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, man. You know, and, and people out here, they're going to say, Lord, Lord, they're going to think they believe. All right. But you got to believe in the Messiah as the scriptures say. 
Okay, because in the time of his judgment, hey, he, he ain't gonna be playing no games out here, man. He said it himself. He said he said when the, when the heavenly Father comes back, uh, he, it's gonna be a wrap for people, man. And that's why I say all of the tribes of the earth shall mourn. Let's get some of the scriptures. I know we was holding for edification. I got Isaiah uh, forty-two. Okay, uh, you got Isaiah forty-two. Get that first, because he said he was in prison. That's why I wanted to get Isaiah forty-two and twenty-two. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all oh, it's like it. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. Mm -hmm. They are for a prey and none delivered, for a spoil and none saith restore. And see, that's the thing. I, you know, we be so fast trying to get the scriptures out where, because I know cats be anxious to walk off, but I wanted them to hear that because our people are in. He, he said he was in jail for 10 years. Hey, why are you thinking? Who who you think he saw when he was up in there, man? Jake, so called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. That's who he saw when he was in there. All right? They're hid in prison houses, man. None saith restore. Uh, Psalms or the, or the loose? Psalms 50. Psalms 50 and 16. Get that? Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What hast thou to do to declare my statute? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? That's right. Hey, what, what, to, to these Edomites and these other nations, man, what do, what do you got doing holding the Bible, man? Uh -huh. This Bible ain't for them. So when he said they try to teach us, they try to teach us differently all right that's right because they took the bible and they they the ones who tried to they, they they didn't corrupt the bible they corrupt the words and the ways that they used it they twisted it uh, or the understanding of it you know when they would say to slaves obey your masters they don't understand that man it didn't mean serve no damn edomite uh, all right that's not what he was talking about but what do like what did jake do uh it's in my book man the charge you know? that, that's this what i understand like whenever you know they read the stories of the scriptures and they'd be like, oh man, that sound like, you know, fiction. It sound like, uh, you know, whatever. You know, it sound fake or whatever. But then Esau come out with Wi-Fi and they'll believe that. Wow. Esau, nah, nah. <laughs> Esau, you know, the, he'll, he'll, send a, he'll send a rocket into space and they'll believe that. But they don't believe that the Lord is coming from space. Where they sending it. Where, yeah, where they sending it from. So, right. So, because, see, our, t our people have been taught to trust everything that Esau gives us. But everything that Esau gives us is there to destroy us, man. Not to build us up. Everything. You can't everything. trust him. You can't trust the devil. Why would you trust the devil? <laughs> like, let's think about that. Why would you trust the devil, man? You know, these people go around and they, they think they can do something. Uh, I was watching uh, uh, Futurama the other day. And there's an episode where Fry wants some hands, all right, to play music. And he made a deal with the devil <laughs> for his hands to be, uh, to get the devil's hands. All right, but the devil ended up manipulating him, tricked him, made his girl go deaf, man. you know, and did all kinds of folly. Why would you Why would you make a deal with the devil, man? And that's what all people do. That's what uh, the celebrities do. They go out here and they make a deal with Esau and think that's going to come out. They, why would the devil make a deal that's not going to profit him? You know, if I'm making you a deal, hey, when, when you hear a businessman, a key thing that they ask for when they're making a contract, what's in it for me? All right? So that's how Esau is. How can I come out on top? Esau ain't worried about what you, your scraps you get. Like, how can I come out on top? How can I make this man my slave? All right. How can I make this man serve me? Hey, I'll take your soul, man. You got the broad um, Grimes. That's um, Elon Musk's uh, girl. He popped it at a baby, whatever. She made a joke saying she was selling her soul uh, online for, to the highest bidder. Hey, you know, and she tried to make it sound like she was trolling, like she was making a joke. No, she's serious. That's how light you, you, you shouldn't even make a joke about selling your soul, man. Well, because people in that world, they understand what she's talking about. Yep. You know what I mean, and, and that's why they say uh, certain uh, entertainers, they have handlers. You know what I mean? Like certain, uh, yeah, certain, certain uh, men who, who are in the entertainment world, usually their wives or their girlfriends, are be, they'll be their handlers. That's why you oh, their you'll, mothers. Yeah, that's why one of the handlers like, could be like the Kardashians. Look how many men they ran through. You know what I'm saying? Because they're handling the souls of these men. You know what I mean? That's why they're witches. You know what I mean? And that, that's why that's why uh, uh, people amongst that group they only deal with each other because they're they're in that craft. Big facts. Uh, what other scriptures was you held? You want to be good? Isaiah 25. It's Isaiah 25, verse seven. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. That's right. There's a veil right now, man. There's a veil. And the, the, the scriptures say that our people are in gross darkness, man. All right. There's a veil right now. And when you have a veil, you can't see clearly. All right. When you, when you like, why do you think, uh, and like these uh, witchcraft, weird uh, weddings, 
What do they do? The woman has a veil over her face. But in order for her to kiss the bridegroom, which is spiritual, to kiss the bridegroom, she has to, he has to lift the veil. Okay? So the bridegroom is Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures say kiss the son. All right? So in order to get to Yahweh Shai, you got to lift the veil, man. All right? In order to get closer to the Lord, you got to lift the veil. But the, these people, they're, they're comfortable with the veil, man. All right? The veil, the veil looks good. It hides their face. It hides their wickedness. All right? It's a, it's a, it's a cast of uh, wickedness and sorcery out here, man. All right? Hey, it's, like, it's like dealing with, with, with people with shades on. Sometimes it's hard to gauge them, man, when they yep. have shades on. I wanted on. to tell him to take his glasses off. He has right. shades on. You know? That's right, brother. It's hard to gauge them, man. It's hard to see, okay. see them for who they really are. Okay. That's similar to, like, women in wigs and stuff like that. Yep. It's hard to know who they really are that day. It's a disguise. Huh. You know, because that's why, uh, you know, when you walk into, uh, like, banks and stuff, they say no hats oh. no and no glasses. You know, because if you wear you if you wearing glasses, man, we you don't know if you can trust a man or not. Sunglasses, right? right. Yeah, man. Hey, I, I sent you that scripture, uh, the light of the eye. You know, and somebody can get that for me. I believe it's like Matthew seven. You know, it's like Matthew seven and sixteen. I could be wrong. You know, but it, the thing is, the, the the eyes are important, man. Being able to see into a person's eyes. All right. You dealing with somebody that always put their eyes down or something like that? You you don't want to mess with them, man. No, nah, that's not it. Somebody can get that. Somebody look that up for me. The light of the eye. Sixteen or something. Sixteen or seven. You know, because when, when it comes to these times, all and that's the thing. Uh, what what do they have? And how do Jake do? They have all these people. Uh, that famous song. I wear my sunglasses at night. So, so now you can, can. <laughs> you know. So not only are you blind, you put more uh, deceit on yourself. That is true. I was in the world. I used to. But I was yeah, yeah, me high, too. Yeah. Put on sunglasses. It's through. <laughs> you be feeling crispy. Right. You know what I'm saying? You feeling good, man. But them sunglasses is through, man. You know. And, and that's funny because when I was in the world, sometimes. If I'm around a lot of people, I never felt comfortable until I threw my glasses on. Because they can't see your eyes. Yeah, because I just wanted to be, I wanted to, be to myself. Yeah, I just wanted to be to myself sometimes. I, because if they can't look at them, look at my eyes, they can't tell what I'm thinking. Yeah, you should be like that shifty ass dude over there. That's why, you know, Rick Ross and all these celebrities, they be faded out of their minds on all of these drugs. You know, that's that's uh, a lot of time. Don't, don't get it twisted. These so-called white people don't be wearing glasses all day because it's sunny Florida. All right, it's because they be... Popped out of their head on Percocets uh, and, uh, uh, and Xanax, man. Uh, they be going off the Xannies, man. Uh, That's why they wearing sunglasses all day, man. You know, got, got the Addies. <laughs> you know? That's why, man. They out of there. The through crew. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body is the eye, man. All right? You know, you 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 talking to brothers, man. Hey, and that's why uh, you know, uh, uh, shout out to shout out to the elder Monagon. You know, when he came down here, you know, he was telling brothers, hey, brothers, always make sure you look a man in his eyes before you salute him. You know, and I was even uh, when I went to uh, Valdosta, Georgia, those brothers, you know, we come in for the salute like that. Them brothers, they don't even do that first. They sit up and go like this and look you dead in your eyes first. That's how they do, and then they go in for the salute. It's because you need to, you know, the manner of a man by his eyes, man. You know, a, a dude acting all shifty and stuff like that. His, he, you can see, uh, you can see a man's soul looking through his eyes, man. That, that's they say that in the world. Your eyes are the windows to the soul. All right, you can see if he's full of light or if he's full of wickedness, man. Go ahead, I, you can start the topic. Come, this is Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-two. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. That's right. How are our eyes single, man? That means focus. Hey, like the brother was talking about earlier, focusing on the letter A. Right. <laughs> you know, Jake and the world want to focus on B to Z, but they ain't even focused. Got past A. Right. All right. A is knowing who you are, knowing you're an Israelite. A is knowing the name of the Messiah. All right. A is knowing where you come from, man. Okay, so it says, if thine eye be single, thy body shall be full of light. So we're focused on your eye by the of shine and his kingdom. All right? That's how your eye be single, man. We ain't focused on nothing else. All right? Yeah, we're watchmen, so we pay attention to everything else. But our eye is focused on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the kingdom of heaven, man. Right. All right? That's what we're concerned with, man. All the Lord wanted us to do was just be obedient, man. Mm -hmm. That's all he required of us, man. But our people, they just rebellious, man. 
or two thirds of our people. They're rebellious, but we can't even say that because the whole all, all, the whole nation went off. All of us went off. This is the reason why we're in captivity. This is why we're all in captivity together. The wicked, the wicked, and the just, man, mm -hmm. amongst our people. You know. And, and, and uh, I was telling the brother earlier. I saw a clip of uh, Mike Epps. Mike Epps was smoking a flat, a fat blunt, and he said, "Marijuana, it calms the nerves." You know, even though technically he's right, but smoking it is the issue. But nonetheless, his problem is he's steadily trying to numb himself. Uh, he's steadily trying to numb himself from the ways of Babylon. And that's what all these people are doing. And that, Deut right. and that Deuteronomy 32 and 39 brought out the scripture says, um, I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. All right, so that marijuana ain't going to be able to, you know, it's, pain away. It's, it's only a temporary. Uh, that's what, I, that's what I, I tell certain people, like, the pain ain't going to go away, bro. You can smoke and you can drink and all that kind of stuff all you want. That pain is not gonna go away, man. It was another one in Apocrypha where it says uh, the mollifying placard. Yeah, wisdom and solid. That's my favorite verse. Yep, yep. <laughs> go ahead, get it. Cause I have your favorite verse in the whole Bible. Yeah. Hey, go all your whole bunch. I'm sorry, bro. He know it. He know exactly where to go. Exactly where it's going. Go ahead, bring it out. Huh? You know, and, and so this is why we, we, we focus on the Lord, man. The Lord is the one that cures us, man. The Lord, the Lord is the one that, that saves us from these uh, different situations. Because if you just out here and you, uh, you just, oh, it's not gonna start. if you just getting high and getting bugged out your mind, man, all you're doing is, hey, wait, I'm going to say this. Wait until you can't get no, get no weed, man. All right. Wait until you can't smoke no blunt. Wait until you can't get, you see what happened to that pharmacy in uh, I think Houston. They, they they took all the medication up out of there, man. Jeez, dude. man. And that's light work, Are they man. putting on bulletproof vests or something? So, see, they suiting up down there. So, 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 that means grandma can't get her medication? We about to get up out of here. Yeah, 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 big. <laughs> <laughs> about that time, you got police down there putting on bulletproof vests and shit. It's about that time to get up. Wait. So we about, oh, what, what time is it? What time is it? What time? You, you, yeah, go ahead, bring it out. What time is it? Four twenty. Okay. All right, we about to uh, after this verse, we say a little more and we wrap it up. This is the wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter sixteen, verse twelve. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, mm -hmm. but thy word, O oh Lord, healeth all things. All thing. have to kill, so I, I can have uh, my social security. What? Say that again. Say, hey, put the camera on. What? What? Say that again. Run around here without a mask. No, no. Say, say, say with your exact sentence again. How many people, old people, do you have to kill to get my social security and the Lethal rest of them that you kill? So, so you're you're thinking we're big about not wearing a mask. Job. We're killing the people. Is that what you're saying? That you're part of it. Hey, at the end of the day, judgment is of the heavenly Father, man. So if you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Okay. Man. That's all there so, is to it, man. So you and the Trumpers, the Trumpers, gonna all die together, and then you're gonna call it revelation. You know, all the saints have died. You know what? I got you're going to be calling the Trump I, people saints. I got a revelation for you. Give me Revelation 13. Again. I got a revelation for you. 13 and 9. Yeah. I got a revelation. Since you want to hear about revelations, let's yep. talk about this revelation. Let's see what you think about this. Bring it out. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. You got ears, buddy? Listen up. He that leadeth into... Oh, he man, that leadeth it. into He's captivity shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right, so you think we're the ones out here doing the killing where the so-called white nation has been doing nothing but killing since you stepped foot here. Right, so bro. by us not wearing right, masks bro. now. Huh? So right, so by us not wearing masks, you think we're doing anything? Ain't none of us got coronavirus. We all, we all good. We're negative. Well, <laughs> we're good. Then how come so many black people are... Are more black people are dying with this flu than anybody Why, else? Who told you that? Huh? Who Yo. told you that? Oh, you aren't gonna. Who Trump, told you that? You want me to say Trump told no, me? No, 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 not literally. But you, my point is, you yeah. learned that from so-called white people. You learned that no, from the news. No, I, I learned that from, from the that news. Black lady. No, okay, even That's still, where she, she heard that from the news. She didn't no, hear. She, did she, don't, she doesn't know that for a fact. She, she doesn't know. For a fact. No, she does not. She heard the news and said that that's happening to us. All right, and even even if it okay. is, even uh, if it is. Okay, what? listen. Do you know anybody in Bell Glade? Yes. Okay. Do you know Bell Glade is the highest uh, uh, people uh, fire from any other group in the Palm Beach County? 
And do people from Belgrade travel back and forth into West Palm Beach? That is West Palm Beach. Bell Glade, Glade is still considered West Palm. Palm Beach Your mind fried. Not West Palm Beach. It's still considered West Palm Beach. It's Palm Beach County. It's Palm Beach County. It's Palm Beach County. Oh. But look, look, man, check this out. You, you can, you can sit up and make it seem like we're the ones. Oh, look, at, look at all you. Have you said anything to all these other people? Walking yes, around? I have. So everybody you go by, you ask them why they don't have. Tell them that. Tell them right there. Tell them right there. Let, 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 let your buddies know. Over there. There. No. Tell them they're killing hey, people. Make it face. Make it face. Make it face. Make it face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put There's your no mask on. Okay, so did, did, you, did you know that you could also die from wearing that mask? Did you know that? Go to your government officials over there and tell them that Especially, especially at you your age. Especially you at your age. Do you not feel like you have a lack of oxygen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Okay, oh. so let me, I'm, okay, I'm going to give you some basic biology <laughs> okay. about how the... Wait a minute. I'll let you speak. I gave you some ba Let me give you some basic biology about how the body works. So, what we do as humans, we exhale carbon dioxide, all right? Yeah. But we inhale oxygen, I mean, inhale ox uh, in oxygen, we let out carbon dioxide. That's because it's not good for your body. But what you're doing right now is you're exhaling carbon dioxide and inhaling carbon dioxide, okay? Yeah, so that's killing you. So this, this, uh, this is what a, wearing a mask does to the body. This is hi hypercapnia. It can be caused by rebreathing your own exhaled CO2 by wearing a mask continually. What happens to your vision? It is dimmed in sight. Your ears, reduced hearing. Your mind, drowsiness, mild narcosis, dizziness, confusion, headache, and unconsciousness. You start sweating. You're sweating now. Respiratory shortness of breath. I sound like Corona. Hey. Yes. 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 Hey, hey, you can blame it on the sun all you want to, man. The point, the point being is, they telling you to put on a mask and you just follow suit and do it. What if there's no coronavirus at all? Simple. Have you ever thought about that? You know anybody personally that died from the coronavirus? The guy, no. I, I, <laughs> there should be so you, 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 all the things you know, they the told lady you. That is it's living in my right. house. That huh? I rent to. She and her baby have had it. Uh, give, give me a uh, child. Uh, now, in Japan, in Japan, they all wear a mask because they've been through things like this before. And their virus is through. Okay. So you think that this is just all made up? Hey, see, look, the thing, why? Because they, they just tell you, this is all news. I'm not going to say this completely made up. But the thing is, they can tell you anything you run with it. But now you got a mask on your face. You're an elderly man who needs to breathe, and now you can't even breathe doing, properly. Doing. All right. Everybody, everybody no doing. God, no peace. Go ahead. Go ahead. John ten and ten. Yeah. This is John chapter ten, verse ten. I am the thief cometh not, but but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life. See that? We have life. That's why we're not worried about coronavirus. That's not bothering us. We got the Heavenly Father to protect us. We're good. We safe. All right? Ba you, I know you like baseball. Safe. We're good, if man. So you if you don't, so you, you, would, you wouldn't die from... Uh, would you play with a rattlesnake? I, no. It said, who's your pity a charmer? I'm not going to play with a rattlesnake. All right? But you play with a rattlesnake by having that thing on your face and you're an elderly man who needs to breathe. Ain't that an oxymoron of you? You need more oxygen? I, I have been wearing a mask. Since they told you? Uh, no, no. I, I started wearing a mask in the Marine Corps. I've worn a mask ever since. From 1962, I've often on worn masks. And that's been deteriorating your health, man. I'm letting you know that now, man. That's deteriorating your health, man. All right? They can tell you whatever they want. And, and, and look, you've been wearing a mask since what year? 1962. 1962, man. Hey, you you too afraid of death, man. All right? You too afraid of death. You kidding me? It happens. It happens, man. If you're going to die, you're going to die. At your age, you're not, you're not, you're not. That's why I go around challenging you. Wait, in your mind now, you aren't okay with the fact that you might die? Yeah. Okay, man. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Do you believe in, uh, y'all like to believe in uh, manifest destiny and things and fate? You don't believe that the date, the, 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 the date, the time, the second that you're predestined to die, it's going to happen, man. All right? It's going to happen. Ain't no way around it. It's people out here that's been smoking cigarettes before you were born. <laughs> and nonetheless, they still haven't died yet. 
It's because the Lord uh, give me uh, uh, Proverbs sixteen and three. It's pre sixteen and four. It's but my wife died December third from smoking. You said what? My wife died December third from smoking. Hey, and look, I ain't trying and to come at you. If I die, it'd be from seven second hand smoke, not from my mask. You don't know. You yeah. can hey, you can ride down that street and a man can hit you on your car, right. on your little cart. Hey, your, your dog can, I, you can come home angry. The Lord, the Lord can put a spirit on little Rufus right there, and he can bite your throat out, man. <laughs> when the day you're destined to die, it's going to happen, man. All right? Uh, yeah, give me Job, uh, 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 four chapter two. Uh, Proverbs 16, verse 4. The Lord has made all things for Hey, if you're eating Edomite, you're going to be destroyed, man. That's right! Tell uh, man. And it, it says, the Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea. Even the wicked for the day of evil. Yeah, so hey, man, he ain't gonna get perished regardless, man. I couldn't, he, I couldn't tell if he was Italian or not. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't just wanna call him an Edomite off top. You know, glee of nobody having. No, that's my. <laughs> you know, but is it the day of the the, 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 the the wicked even for the day of evil, man? Okay, so hey, the Lord might be saving him for Jacob's trouble. The Lord might be saving him for the missiles, man. You know, my, my wife died on December 3rd. That means it, the Lord decided on December 3rd he's going to take your wife out, man. All right? That you would, that, and that's the crazy thing. People have lived their whole life. Oh, I, I, I read this article. This dude saved up. He stopped smoking. He was smoking cigarettes. He said he heard that cigarettes kill people, so he stopped. And, and all the money that he would spend on cigarettes, he saved it every week uh, to buy a new car. All right? And you know what, how he died? How he died. In a car accident. <laughs> so you you he thought smoking was gonna kill him. But the car accident is what killed you, man. So if you're gonna die, you're gonna die the death of the Lord. So man. man don't know his own way, man. Yeah. The most high knew. The most high had set up his spirit to get rid of smoking, to buy a car, so he can go die in a car. <laughs> was, right, exactly. <laughs> Period. That's oh, just ill, bro. You know, and, and see. That's what these people think, he had naked faces. All these people oh, walking know. around with masks on, but because of his, 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 real talk, it was a group of dark-skinned men. That's what the real issue was. Right. You know, he said, oh, y'all the people that's pushing. But ain't none of us got it. The Wadi Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah. You know? Uh, what, what did you get? Hey, that's, far, hey, that's the spirit. That's the spirit, right? Because when it comes to wickedness, they all click up. When it comes to righteousness, they, hey! There'll be plenty more. There'll be plenty more. Oh, get that. Oh, real quick, and then we can get that. Get that, uh, and then get your first Samuel. Get uh, James. Uh, uh, it's like four chapter as a vapor. James four and fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Start at the top. Of this. this is Job chapter fourteen, verse one. Man that is born of a woman. Is of few days and full of trouble. Yeah, you want a few days, man. You are gonna die anyway. All right. We we we, we, we hey the scriptures say we, we ready to perish anyway, man. We ready to get up out of this place, man. You know, but we want to. Uh, you know, Philippians one and twenty talks about that. Uh, you know, I, he, Paul said I'm betwixt between wanting to perish and see the kingdom of heaven uh, and staying here. He said, but I'm gonna stay here and do the work because this is needful for you. All right. So that's why we're standing and doing this work, man. Yeah, we're ready to get out of here, but we got to do the work to seal the elect. All right? Go ahead. In verse 2, he cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. Yep. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. You see that? He come forth like a flower, man. Everywhere you go, you can see people wearing Lake Worth selling roses and stuff like that. That flower get cut down a couple days in that water and starting to perish, man. All right? You ain't got long. You are, everybody's withering flowers around here, man. All right, but we got life through the scriptures. Psalms 118 and 17 says, I shall not die, but live, man. All right, oh, he, he's only, he, since 1962, he's been worried about death. Wearing a damn mask, why do you think you're dying, man? All right, we look like we were dying, but all of a sudden the most high put fertilizer, cut off the dead leaves, mm -hmm. now that tree is able to grow taller and wider. Yep. Hey, when you read it, what's that? Isaiah the 53rd chapter. It's, it's talking about that tender branch. It talks about Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah being that fertile ground, man. Okay? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, get him get James. I think it's 4 and 14. Okay, go ahead. Come on, this is James 4, verse 14, but 13, I'll start. It says, Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year 
and buy. That's what that dude, he been, he been out trying to live his life, man. He trying to get every little minute he can, man. All right? We it, don't, the, the, the scriptures say, uh, think not on the thoughts of tomorrow because the day have troubles of his own, man. All right, go ahead. Con. And sell and get again. Mm -hmm. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. You, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. This, you, you, he talking about wearing a mask for all these years. Hey, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, man. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Con. It says, for what is your life? What is your life? I should have asked him that, man. I wish uh, this scripture would have came out when he was here, but go ahead. Con. It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time. It is a, what is your life, man? It's like a vapor that appeared for a little time, man. You're here one day, you go on the next, man. Con. Okay? He talked about his, his wife being passed away. Hey, she came and she left, man. All right? It's nothing but a vapor, man. And a vapor ain't even a strong gas, man. The vapor is like, you know, we, uh, for wicked cats in the world, they, they hit that first puff and you got the thick cloud, the little wisp at the very end, them the vapors, man. All right? It's, it's, it's gone, man. All you all you cats who smoke them vapes out here, your life ain't nothing. What is your life, man? Go ahead. Then vanish it away. And then it vanish it away, man. It's gone. It comes and it goes, man. All right? And that, that, that's what happens, man. It, that's why your name is very important, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, because uh, if you if you've done righteousness and you've done the will of the Lord, when you die, your name is gonna reign for it's gonna reign forever, man. You're gonna have a long lasting name, okay? A name that even your children will be able to honor, you know. But if you just here and you just doing wickedness, man, ain't nobody gonna think about you ten years from now, twenty years from now. You know, I think it's one more too. Come, come, verse fifteen, and it says, "For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will." And uh, we shall live and do this or that. And that's what we about, man. Lord willing. Everything we say, Lord willing, man. All right? You know? Hey, the brother's like, hey, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Lord willing. All right? Hey, yo, brother, I'll stop by tomorrow. Lord willing. Hey, yo, you know, my job might give me this check. Lord willing. Everything is if the Lord will, man. Because the Lord can take us out right now. You know, we, we grateful to the Lord. We, 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 we believe in his mercy and his protection. But he might could come right now and spray us all up with an AK, man. All right? 444. Hey, call all y'all watching me outside. That's mercy, man. See that? That's how the spirit work, man. <laughs> this is the spirit, man. Uh, let's get these last ones and we can wrap it up. Uh, this is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. The Lord killeth and maketh alive, man. The Heavenly Father is the one that does that. Go ahead. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Mm -hmm. Hey, so when that man said his wife died, hey, God did it. You know, I should have asked him how he felt about God. You know? And that's another thing. These people don't believe in the Heavenly Father, and they don't. They definitely don't believe in what he does. He'll think that, hey, you know, he'll curse God. That's what he'll do. He'll be like, God, why did you take my wife? F you, God. That's what he'll do, man. Shake uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 8 There is no man that hath power over the spirit Ooh. To retain the spirit Neither hath he power in the day of death And there is no discharge in that war Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it See that? Hey, he the type of dude He'll die on his, he'll die on his deathbed His soul will exit out He'll think he can grab it and pull it back in Hey, it says no man has the power to retain his spirit, man So when the, when the Heavenly Father call you up that's hey, it. that's it, man. You ain't no fighting against that, man. All right? When when you, when it's your time to... That scripture basically said, when it's your time to die, it's your time to die, man. They, they even know... They, what they call that in the medical field with children that who die at birth? Sudden birth? Sudden, sudden death, death syndrome? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, man. The most high said, oh, well, that's it. Nah. Yeah, and that's what the scripture right. said. And any, any, any man... Uh, anybody born innocent. You know? You know, you, you go. The Lord want to take you out, regardless if it's one day or regardless if it's a hundred years. Uh, you gonna go. You gonna come and you gonna go when the Heavenly Father wants you to, man. Uh, All right. So, uh, with that, we gonna wrap it up. All right. We want to. Uh, we're the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked nation known as Babylon, America. All right, we want to give all the honor, all the praise, all the glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Lord willing, until next time, Shalom. 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 Shalom.